Good guy run continues. The good guys, the do no evil. Yeah, at the end of stream yesterday, it was pretty rough, and I, uh, some of it was kind of preventable in a lot of ways. But I've been trying to keep wealth super low and keep things really low. And uh, what I wanted to do is wait. I was trying to wait and not make our own SMGs and stuff, so we didn't have to get materials until we had some dropped or until we could go trade. But then we got a breach raid that that ripped through the back here. And uh, this is causing a lot of problems because now bugs can spawn there. We got to patch that. Good news is we know where breach raids can come through now. But uh, yeah, one EMP grenade and no one dies. So I really... I'm surprised we didn't lose more people. We had some other scary times yesterday too. We had another time where um, we we try, we had to run out to try to save someone, but we had like a bunch of manhunters right here, and I had to open against like 14 links or something, and they swarmed, and three different people were three hours from death. They all survived. Um, but yeah, we uh, we do have, and that really sucks. There's our our one SMG laying out there. So, uh, yeah, we had some elephants die during that craziness, and uh, we had one colonist die, and we also, let's take a body part count here of what we really lost. Uh, we lost an eye and an ear. We're really far away from replacing an eye. Hopefully we can uh, get one purchased at some point. Uh, we lost an arm. We can make a prosthetic arm for too long. And Batman lost their life, and they were also the one, uh, they were in a real... They were married. So Charn, uh, one of our primary or three starting colonists, uh, they were married to them. So they're obviously going to be really, really upset. Minus 20 for 30 days. Pretty rough. So we got several things to do. Obviously, we need to, uh, as soon as Charn's up, we're going to do the funeral. Uh, now we know where Breacher is going to come through the side, which is nice. So we can set up some Breacher defense. We got to get an EMP grenade. Um, and we got to get a mortar. So th those are the most important right now. Breacher defense setup, some uh, some SMGs and e EMP and a mortar. Smoke as well will be really important, um, but not as important as an EMP. <laughs> 286, bug spawn outdoors. Yes, that is under mountain. So this, the dark green is considered under mountain. So overhead mountain, it doesn't have to literally be like in here. Um, this dark green, if it's within 30, I think it's, I think it's 35 tiles, it might be 30, I can't remember, it's one of the two. Um, if it's within that of a player built structure wall, like this wall here, for instance, bugs can spawn there if there's at least two overhead mountain touching and it's above negative 17 Celsius, so. Igor colonists built different, that's, yeah, I can I... I was very particular with who I took in that. This one I have to take whoever the crap wants to join. So it's going lonely. Dead elephant wealth. True. More like elegant. It's a raid and a manhunter pack at the same time. Hyenas ate the raiders, only had half to deal with. <laughs> That's always nice. Hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some corn? Derby Ninja, welcome in. Mop, thank you, thank you. Good day, good day. Uh, so as soon as Charn's up, we will, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do the funeral, so. Uh, let's see, speaking of overhead, I think I'm, we know they're gonna break through here, so I'm gonna put a, uh, at least a breach firing spot on this side. We'll get that set up, and then I'm gonna need a, um, an EMP spot over here. Sorry, gave it a great run. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiling. Uh, Charn, not up yet. Sace, we need to put a weapon back on you. I think you might have been the... Yeah, so Sace... Sace had a breakdown. Even though we had like 600 food here, he was going over here to eat something during the breakdown. I think he might have literally been going to eat like the rabbit corpse or something. Um... Unless there, was, there might have been a package survival meal still laying out here or something. But anyway, he's the one that ended up causing a lot of his pain with a breakdown. But of course, that's because Batman died. And... Oh, what a mess. Um, that one's bio-coded, huh? Feels bad. Feels bad. Those are uh, bio-coded too, or else, so I can't equip those. 
Alright. Able to save you? I can't believe... Yeah, I thought Charn and Sace, both of them were probably dead too, but luckily not. Oh, what? yeah, it was the raid. That's it. They were going after the friggin' beer, which is terrible because it's also against a... You know, we we can't... can't. Bio-coated weapons add wealth? Uh, no. Bio-coated weapons are zero market value. Do you, um... Yeah, no market value. Beer, though, can't believe him. <laughs> He's, he was suppressed. All right, let's go ahead and do the eulogy here. And then, um, Charn, it's, it's their loved one that died, so Sace is going to try. We're going to wait until Sace's, um, talking is back up. And then we'll do, uh, how beautiful. Then we'll do the council. Your mirror is bad. It's evil. Heartwarming. At least we got heartwarming. Low food. Uh, hopefully someone comes and takes that out. Man, we lost those elephants too, which is kind of kind of crappy. But. Um, I'm still going to send Shizubob off and we, we got to keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't leave the map the wrong way because if he does, he's just well, he's dead. <laughs> Simple as that. No, we'll, we'll pull him back. So, so I'm gonna take out that cluster. Yeah, you volunteer as tribute. See, the problem with that is if we send some people to take it out, even if they're really strong like that, and they and they fall for some reason, then we have to go save that person. <laughs> and then it's, it's the spiral. I, I really thought we had lost the run yesterday. I really did, because I was like. Back. Build a roof? No, no, no. It was like, we got to save them. And it was just... It's more to them. Yeah, if I had one. That would be nice. Uh, who was that? Gerbil. Eight months with the gerbil. Thank you, gerbil. Much appreciated. All right, let's get this. If we tame these, we'll go ahead and send Shizbabob off. We're in the process of making some allies. Oh, crap. We have no one uh, feeding those right now. We need to get out of here. Okay, that one's tamed. All right, this one. Next. Good job. So as soon as he tames these ones, we'll send Shizubob out uh, to give these away as a as a gift to the neighbors. Party. Why are we having a party? I, I'm, you know, it's a party after the funeral, like a, it's a reception type thing. It's going to welcome in. Fully healed. Good, good. As soon as this party's done, we'll uh, try to contain that elephant. If I can't have it, no one will. Animal starvation. Uh, we're working on it. Guy, just be up. Just hang on. Hang on. Okay, let's try to take this elephant and then, uh... Then we're good. <sighs> Please go through the mech cluster. Transport pods, prepare for a while. What kind is it? It's smaller. Nine. They're gonna go through the cl cluster. Oh, there's a chain shotgun. Wow, nine, because we had that death and all those downs. Wow. Nice. That helps. That helps. You guys need to feed that. Um, Here. Let's do this really quick. Uh... Call that rice over there so that camel doesn't die. Wow, L, dead. Let's make fruitcake mod, craft a little item that can be given as a gift. It raises relations for a day, but then relations begin to decline dramatically. 
Oh, that's this little elf. Yeah, that's... And I even mentioned that. I was like, I should have just went as soon as we had like two. I should have just... I should have just left. But I was trying to get too many. I was trying to ally them on the very next trade and I got caught. So... Keep an elephant as a war hero? I don't know. Like, like, like was said, elephants right now are worth more raid points than a new colonist, so... Where four camels come from? I tamed them. The giveaway. We might get really lucky here. Uh, they might take out the mech cluster, and we might get a chain shotgun out of it. So, uh, that would be super helpful. Here we go. Oh, I gotta get ready to, uh, grab them if get down stork brought them when a man camel loves a woman camel that's a really small raid compared to what we were getting come on guys lion's got some cover eric going in for the flank oh eric got caught out he's gonna make it to the pikeman he's got him locked in melee combat Smoke is out. The turrets can no longer fire. Lynx decides not to shoot. He's going to take it on one-on-one. -on -one. The smoke is putting in some serious work. Alex, absolutely stupid, runs in out of the smoke. <laughs> Was it bio-coded? I didn't check. It's bio-coded, unfortunately. Lightman's down. You guys just need to take out a turret. This whole thing goes up. Turret, turret, turret. Oh, come on. Yeah. Mech cluster's done. See ya. We did it. So that is bio-coded. Let's go Minoc. Uh, Narco, welcome. Back to normal emotes from Chris emotes. Uh, I was talking about that yesterday. I'm going to do it. I, I figured it could just be winter emotes, but yeah, I'm going to switch them. And now we'll be able to take care of this raid pretty easily. Uh, and yeah, not, not too bad. Unfortunately, the unstable power cell is gone. So that's, uh, that's a little unfortunate, but. A little unfortunate. Uh, you know what? Just grab that for right now. And there are no wigglers, so we don't have to save anyone. Nice. Well, that worked out really, really well. Um, I'm gonna replace this with a door. Scary. All right, well, that was a big help. Uh, so now we're gonna try to grab uh, that elephant and then we're going, we gotta get out of here. How's your needs? Run out and uh, this elephant, please. Oh, it's sleeping right. <laughs> I don't even know why. I, I literally see it sleeping. It's like, All right, we can do it. Did mechs come with royalty? No, mechs have existed since like alpha. So mech clusters are royalty, but mechs are not. So if, if uh, yeah, if you, if you meant mech clusters, then yes, they came with royalty. Uh, even breach raids. Breach raids is not a DLC thing. Breach raids were added in 1.3, so you can get breach mechs even in just vanilla if you're playing uh, 1.3. All right, let's get it. I mean, mech clusters, yeah, yeah, that is royalty. Yep. Turn off royalty, no mech clusters. Another uh, thing that's uh, a threat only in royalty is uh, off-map problem causers, which I really hate, and also Abasia. Abasia is one of those. All right, let's uh, let's get this caravan sent out before this wealth bites us in the butt again. So uh, we're gonna send our oh, and we would have already allied them as well, but um, Shizabob actually got uh, ambushed. They got ambushed. I. I was afraid they might be dead, but uh, luckily not. 
the but the people decided uh to uh you know what we'll break those down at some point uh the people decided to make him give them the elephants so unfortunately what percentage is that 51 73 one's awful awful all right See ya. Be glad to shred Max is good guys. Yeah, yeah. We're about helping people mainly, and to a lesser extent helping animals. Yeah, the the bugs are actually created, or bioengineered to uh, to kill the mechs, and it kind of backfired. So, Did you miss much? Depends on how long you've been gone. Um, the mech, if you, I mean, just from today, the mech cluster is now gone thanks to a raid. And, uh, yeah. What abasia means? So, uh, paralytic abasia. So basically you can get an auto join event where the person is, uh, c completely paralyzed and they are still, uh, awake. They're just in like a, uh, well, they're just paralyzed. They're completely paralyzed, even though they are awake so they still need of course fed and taken care of they um and all that kind of stuff and by default it usually lasts about 40 days but it can heal faster on its own and then you can also heal it faster with with uh medicine but it's a um yeah you, you'll get an auto join event where they literally drop down and you have to go save them and they just lay in bed for up to like 40 days oh look which way shizabob would have went terrible All right, it's marble. We got marble. Uh, Sace, how's your talking? 86, all right. Oh, I don't know why I get so many abasions. Some games, some games I do, I do. We already had one this uh, this time that I didn't want, and they've, they're a member of the colony now, unfortunately. All right, got to block it in for bugs. Uh, now, yeah, we can get the SMG now too. Um, let's let's go ahead and understrict Zidian. I'll have him run out and get it, and then I'll equip it on who I want. I don't want one of the. Let's do this. What's going on here? Why does that camel keep trying to leaf? Being a person is the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. That's all you hear. <laughs> it does make the game harder, yeah. But you know what? This probably looks more similar to a normal run for a lot of people. And I don't think most people choose to do everything that's good. But I think most people probably aren't as evil about the game. At least starting out as I am. Bugs didn't work in your game. Only have core, core game, though. Uh, Really? Well, hopefully it works for me. It's supposed to work, but... Does mood affect the number of social fights? Mood can impact social fight, as far as I'm aware, yeah. But the... There, there's several things that impact social fight. Mood definitely is one of them. What a great run this will be. How's it going, Ray J? Crimson King, Dominus, welcome in. All gone yet, or are there still cowboys out there? <laughs> Matt, good guys uh, are still here, still with us, yeah. Still with us. All right. Uh, Charn, give you the SMG. Okay. Uh, all right. So this is bio coded, unfortunately, so we won't be grabbing that. Uh, we definitely want to get this. We gotta get the machining table done as well. All right, so we're gonna expand the work zone to cover this spot and to cover this. Can't leave those corpses out there. Can't leave those out there. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put people um, in the work zone. All right. Um, 
we'll get all that done. Let's go ahead and pull out everything. Get that cleaned up. For lack of an eye, hinder shooting, it will, yeah. Um, the good news is that one reason why heavy SMGs are really good is because they're good with bad shooters. Because the the compensation or the increase in accuracy of rate by getting closer with the SMG is so much higher than a lot of other guns. Obviously, other close range guns are like that too. That it kind of compensates for being a worse shooter. So it's still probably ha better having the SMG on you. But we do need to try to get you an eye. Uh, we're going to try to do a lot of this through through trade. So, Cat Lizard have any lasting scars? The unfortunate. Oh, that's a good question. Is he all right? Oh my God. He's eating so much. 50% metabolism. He's missing an eye, a tail, his stomach, and one of his claws. Poor cat. Poor Defa cat. Yeah, hopefully this still works. I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, heard of any change with the grid pattern to deter bugs, but if it doesn't work, we're going to be in some real pain later on. Needs to be put down to suffer like that. It is pretty sad, yeah. I think we'll take a hit, though, if we kill him. Can you talk about assault rifles? Sure. So if you're looking at... If you're trying to figure out what the best all-around gun is... So the thing in RimWorld is a lot of the weapons are situational and are best in their certain weapon type and in, in, in different setups of your base. But if you're talking about all round, all purpose, kind of good weapon, especially medium range, the assault rifle is better than the SMG once someone gets to 15, um, 15 shooting. So that's when they intersect. So at the same quality, an assault rifle isn't better than an SMG in a short to medium range setup like this until they get to 15 shooting skill now it does have its other advantages it outranges it so if you uh, need to outrange enemies and um they they don't have something that's as long as an assault rifle or whatnot or your kill box is longer and is set up specifically for the range of assault rifles and that can make them a little bit better in that situation but as like all purpose all around good all around good weapon um it's better to use an smg at same quality over an assault rifle until f the shooter is at 15 shooting skill. And there's a chart out there. I think if you do exclamation weapon, you can see the chart. Uh, it's not mine. It's, uh, it's from Reddit. Um, I think the person that did its name is on there. So credit to them. But. No, this is a random map. Yeah, this is a random map. I don't know how good this map is. Um, this is just a lot of maps. A lot of big maps with mountains are just good. If you do a big size map, and you put it and you go to a mountain, more often than not, you'll have things like this. I'm not building a mountain base. This could be open somewhere. If this is not open somewhere, then this is an awesome map uh, map for mountain base. Unfortunately, the anima tree spawns down here. Ours was eaten. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty good map. Execution Seed is the map seed. But yeah, a lot of just really big mountain maps tend to have choke points and little, uh, you know, um, these little valleys and stuff in here that are easily defendable. But yeah, this is just a random map we pulled up yesterday. The Ancient Danger is probably in the, or it is in the mountain somewhere. Uh, we could cheese it with a melee trick and try to find it. No, I, I'm not going to build a mountain base since we've just done a couple mountain base runs. So I haven't even scanned the mountain. But um, yeah, if anyone plays on the seed, Exclamation Seed is up to date. Let me know if you check out the mountain. I might scan it to try to find the Ancient Danger. But I'm not going to do a mountain base this time since we've done several here recently. Uh, Pit, welcome in. Gandalf. Pit, welcome in. But yeah, this is... Um, I'm going to do a short guide on how to find really good map seeds without mods. But this wasn't even one that I searched for. This is like literally... I'll tell you why I chose it. Um, we wanted to do Arid Shrubland. And I wanted to do somewhere that was really close to a lot of settlements so I could trade. Because I knew trading was going to be important in this one. And I wanted to be near a road, but I also wanted to be um, closer to the Outlander that I could ally, but wasn't allied yet because I have a festival that increases my goodwill with them. And I wanted a, uh, I wanted a mountain map so we could have a mountain behind us for defense. And I wanted one without caves. And this was just the first one we grabbed. This is literally the first one we grabbed that met those criteria. So, um, 
But yeah, large mountain maps, especially large mountain maps um, with a coast and no caves tend to be very, very good maps just in general. And then the, the downside is if you want a map that also has a really good anima tree play, placement, then you probably are going to have to search for some, search through some maps. So, yeah, mountain ma maps are really, so there's, there's really one main downside to a mountain map like this. Aside from anima tree placement, the one big downside, or I guess two, one is when you get to deep drill, the scanner is going to scan a lot of crap under the mountain. And if you don't want to build a mountain base or you don't want to go in there and, and have, have them to spawn bugs, then when you get steel up here, you're never going to mine it. Like, you probably won't anyway. It's it's a real pain to get to. Um, so that's one downside. The second downside is a mountain map technically has around the same resources on the map as even a flat map. It doesn't seem like it, but... And, and generally, the mountain maps, they honestly tend to have a little bit more, but... As far as in like the uh, the map generation for seeds and stuff, flat maps, large hills, stuff like that are supposed to have right around the same resources of like steel and stuff as a mountain map. The problem is most of that is in here somewhere. Whereas on a flat map, you'll notice that when you when you look around a flat map, almost all the little hills that you find will have like this on the edge of them. You can see where 90% of your steel and stuff to mine is. Where on this map, there's not a, a whole lot like we don't we don't see very much because it's probably locked in here somewhere. That's really the only downside. Other than that, it's a very mountains are very good. Not even just for mountain bases, just as defensible positions. It's very very nice. It's going, Roger. Yeah, it has been a while. Doing all right. Well, yeah, I'm doing all right. I'll say. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's granite marble, which is like our old school pick. Yeah. Uh, Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome back. 27 months. Serious thing now. What does Guilty and Proselytizer do? So... Alright, hang on. I'll go over those two. Oh my god. We're still at negative two. If we had taken one more animal... Wait, can we get that out of some of his food? Oh, Psychic Drone. Oh, can we get plus two out of some of this food? Because then they'll stop attacking us. All right. <laughs> the enemy is now neutral. Good luck getting back home with a handful of rice. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's going to be okay. You know. Neutral. Um, Psychic drone medium. Kind of sucks. I'm going to have them bring in the component and then I'm going to uh, have them stay back here. Ah, it's all right. They're all right now. All right. So guilty and proselytizer. So guilty, the main thing it does, uh, it has two main functions. One is it makes it so that charity is essential. And what that means is when we see a join event or a quest that has yellow text, it means if we ignore that, if we do the evil side of that, they get a huge mood penalty, up to a minus 12. On the flip side of that, if we help people, we get a uh, mood buff. So uh, the other thing is pain is idealized with them. So if they are in pain, it's kind of like a mini masochist. So if they're in like minor pain, it's a plus three. If they're in serious pain, they get a plus nine. So it's kind of like a, a scaling masochist trait almost. So that's the two main things with guilty. Proselytizer is all about spreading your ideology. The main, um, it, it doesn't impact you very much in a, like it doesn't make, you have to play differently uh, for the most part. Your um, although by default, I believe they start out bigoted. But look at that, ideology spread chance, 700%. So with proselytizer, not only is it easier to convert people over, but just the passive ideology spread of like chatting with people and whatnot in your base uh, is much more likely to drop some, some percentage. Now, the downside of this is if you have another ideology that it's bigoted, um, that's your base or, you know, whatever, uh, they are going to start social fights a bit because they're going to get upset that they're trying to get converted. So, um, the pain penalty is pain shock threshold, of course, is still there. So, you're closer to that. Uh, what that mainly means in, in practice is that you have to be work, you have to be cautious when they're in pain about their consciousness. 
Uh, conscious is an, incre uh, an incredibly important stat, the most important stat in the game, really, because if the Conscious falls to zero, they're dead. But also, if the Conscious is too low, they uh, will basically be downed, and also it impacts all their other stats. So even having, like, 20% reduced Consciousness, a lot of their other stats, like Manipulation and Speed, are going to be lowered. Kruger. They were the four months, Kruger. Just watch you fall asleep. Want to see the change up with a good guy run? Good lord, it is. It's been crazy. Uh, thank you for the resub. Doc Raider, welcome in. Am I starving someone on purpose? No, he's fasting. He gave he gave the last little bit he had to a needy to a needy settlement to make sure they had food before himself. Good guy. Are they upset if they have no pain? Uh, no, so it's not the same as pain idealized from um, pain is virtue. Pain is virtue is the one that if they're not scarified, they get upset. Zero is conscious. <laughs> so Scorpio, thank you again. How's the run going? Have we got any terrible pawns? I have, and we've we had a death yesterday. We almost lost the run. It was really close. Trying to save everyone. We almost lost the run yesterday. So we're uh, we're clawing our way back now. Uh, if you use pain block on them, so you can do that, yeah. Um, and I haven't used it on specifically this one, but it does work pretty well on uh, pain is virtue. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not, so the animals are secondary. So absolutely, if we can save an animal that's not tried to kill us, then we will, but we're not gonna go super out of our way to do it like the elephant that was over here and we literally would have lost the run also again we try to do our best if if it will literally just lose the run if it, we're just gonna die then i'm not gonna do it you know but uh if there's any chance that we'll succeed even if we lose some people trying we will do that but if it's just a complete wipe uh now the caveat to that is all the yellow quests we're gonna do all the yellow quests and that's the ones that are our ideology so uh, I think we actually lost... I think Batman might have been doing some growing. Maybe we gotta put Merrick on there for a little bit. Yeah, because if everyone dies, we can't save anyone else. Yep. Oh no, Shiz got gut worms. That's really bad because he's also low on food. But he's almost home. He's almost home. Okay, he ran out of food right before he got to our tile, so. I don't think he would have ran out if he hadn't gotten gut worms. He made it back. Can you pick where the scars go with scarification? Uh, no, not currently. I don't know if there's a mod for it, but no. Psychic drone's still going. Oh no. Shizubob is really slow because of the gut worms. 17 cats. Oh, God. Shizubob might be dead. Come on, Shiz. He might let the cats in that way. Oh, this might be close. Come on, Zidian. Major breakdown on Zidian. Oh, no. Who else can do construction? Sace. Just made it in. Get over here. I think they're gonna make it. It's gonna be close. Merrick! I should have sent one to the other door first. Oh, 
Well, that sucks. What's up with raiding this uh, playthrough with animals, though? I don't, I don't know. No idea. We had so many. Den five, den seven, den eight. Uh. Uh, charge down again. Good lord. Stupid cats. I was going silver. So I'm looking in. Meow, meow, meow. Stable bed and rice on the first day. I, I didn't get one on the first day. Me? Or you talking to someone else? We're in day 89. <laughs> God. Take us a couple days to get this set up. But I mean, I could have gotten it. A house, beds, and a rice. Planted on day one had I just done it on like wood and stuff, but I, I actually waited until I ripped down some. Um, some blocks. Well. Unless uh, infection kills us, it looks like everyone's going to survive again. A certain Yorkshire Terrier would put handy in that situation. Yeah. I don't have a uh, guide for the burn box yet. A catastrophe. Old times in college and die. Don't shoot cats for good guys. We have to defend ourselves yeah, against man hunters, obviously. Thank you, Gibbs. Eight months. You missed a month, but you're back. Thank you. Much appreciated. Silver, welcome in. Who needs med school? We have man hunting cats. Rainy says you name all your pets cat. Thinks you must love cats. Here, have some cats. Uh, it's gonna be like 20 something days, Charn. We're gonna do um, counsel on you if you're ever upright again, but. Hercules, Hercules. Poor Hercules. <laughs> We've replaced him with a guana, though. Pretty fitting for this. Uh... An iguana that has no stomach. We get another fluffy? Oh god, I hope not. Well, the good news is the adaption factor is probably maxed out. So if we do have another raid, it'll be pretty small. <laughs> Got that going for us. Uh, I'm gonna end up turning bed rest off. Sorry guys, got too much work to do. Negative number of raiders. <laughs> the raiders show up and just what? Kill themselves, kill each other. I don't know what it is with all the man hunters though. I, I don't know. I swear it feels... We didn't get that finished. Wow, look at that.
Come on, breach raid. <laughs> Two hives. Two hives. Fly to bugs? No, no, it does not. How long do we have on it? 2.9. Hmm. Is there one under the rubble? Or rubble? Oh, I didn't see that one up there. Yeah, there's three. 2.9 days on that one. 2.5. So. Talk about bed rest. So sometimes I will uh, min max or choose on my own if they bed rest or not. Basically, bed rest makes it so if they are injured in any way, they will, unless they Remind have to do. Yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Unless they need to do something that is. Um, vital for life, like eating, they will rest in their bed until they're better. Even when it's just, sometimes when it's just nothing, like hardly anything, like a little cut or something. No longer spawn infestation. Uh, supposedly, yeah. I can't believe we already got an infestation. We only were three blocks away from getting that set up, see. Supposedly it's, it's changed, but I don't know. Uh, this is too much for us at the moment. And I don't think we have the materials to make another turret. I think a couple turrets and we can probably do it. Um, there's still some steel here. Okay. I'm gonna put this in the wall uh, section for right now. What we really need is a breacher raid from the left. That would be perfect. But yeah, apparently uh, you don't, you need two tiles, two touching tiles, but we'll see. Done. TC B for the duration. <laughs> Go, good guys. It's been a tough day already. We just <laughs> got started. Tough day already. But uh, we'll get a few turrets set up here, and then we'll pop that. No, we're not allied with anyone yet. Uh, we were, we've been working on making sure not uh, we weren't hostile with them, but we're not actually allied yet. All right, we counseled them about their wife, so now they they don't care that Batman has died. Stealing bug food evil? No, the bugs are evil. So. Wow, Charn, look at you. You walked out here and fell back down. Good job. Can you tame bugs? You can technically tame bugs. There's not really a reason to. It, and it's kind of difficult, especially things like this. So the way you tame bugs, there's two ways. One, if there's no hives, bugs will revert back to not being manhunters. So if you get rid of all hives and bugs survive and they go to sleep, then... You can tame them afterwards, just like any animal. Um, they're not very good pets, though. And then the second way is if you down them without killing them, and then you tend to them, they have a chance to automatically um, uh, tame from that as, as well. Which they give to animals of pods? Probably not, because uh, the weight is probably not not great. Take like two pods to send three animals, depending on the animal size. All right, where are you? Oh, why are you guys over there? Okay, Charn, I need to have you on bed rest though, because you have an infection. All right, we gotta try this. I got the Nike shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> We don't have anyone that's fast at all. Alright. See what we can do here. A 
if you only use sidecast to help others, it's still evil. It is for our playthrough right now. And really, the main reason why we're not doing it is because I use sidecasting a lot in every playthrough. I figured it'd be much harder to play without it, so... We're saying that it's witchcraft, whether it helps or not. It's evil. Let's go, Zidian. Oh, come on. ready to save any of them that down all right we gotta keep an eye on the empire guys if they uh if they down we have to tend them uh we should we should bury that one instead of You know what? We should give them a burial on the base. For something like that. So if it wasn't for them, uh, the bugs might have multiplied. We gotta go take care of the hives as well, but... Let's see. Um, where are you up here? This is a good spot. Okay. Uh, if that's not the kind of structure criticisms help them improve <laughs> that's true do you have a point Thank you, Zoe, for your sacrifice. Visit, uh, bury visitors and traders. Um, I, I haven't made a specific rule for it, but I figured I, I needed to, I figured I needed to bury them because they, uh, it was the, it was the right thing to do. It was the good thing to do. If it wasn't for them melee blocking there and giving their lives, the, uh, hives could have spawned, uh, could have gotten out of control and could have killed us. So it was the right thing to do. That's why I buried them for this kind of run. They gave their lives to protect the colony. They deserved a burial instead of being just thrown in the incinerator, you know? Losing fun, 100% tribal run. Losing has been a ton of fun. Most recent death came when Randy sent a nimble raider with a heavy SMG on day 10. The first raid you got would die again. <laughs> Losing is fun. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. That's awesome. We've been high card. And is that Hayes? Is that how you pronounce your name? Didn't see that third one hiding in there. I didn't at first either. Oh, 
Okay. Um, I need to go into their assignments here too for food. Manage food. Uh, we're gonna turn off meat and animal products and corpses. Sad. It's like, hey, get stroke mid sentence. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna do that. I was about to say it, but no. Train melee stat at all. I normally just hunt all things in train shooting. Doesn't seem to be equivalent for melee. There's a couple things you can do, and neither of them are good guy type things. Um, one of the best ways to train it, unfortunately, is to have uh, some like naked prisoners that you just go in and beat up until they're downed. The good news about that is you can also help with adaption factor. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you can just go in and beat up prisoners, naked prisoners, with your guys having good equipment. Make sure you're just using bare fists, though. Just go in there and beat them up every time they're back up. The other thing is you can put good armor on someone, have them go around and beat like bunnies and rats and squirrels and stuff. But yeah, outside of that and mods, there's not a really good way to train melee in the game. Colonies go on oh, surviving. <laughs> How many episodes have plus 5% difficulty? All of them. How I've played only 500% difficulty ever since it was released. So it came out in 1.2. That's all I play. Let's go one piece run. Let's go on. Claim welcome in. Fun melee trainings had his nimble tough brawler and flak one for you wanting mega saws with a steel knife. Uh, so that's an, that's a good point. The uh, things like knives, they attack very quickly. So uh, they're good for melee blocking, but they're also good at leveling up as if you're looking for a, a weapon to use. Punching bunnies is how you train IRL. All right, let's get those filled in. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have Shiz grab the the jelly. I don't think I need to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, Shiz. Hopefully, you don't cause uh, a lot of pain again. It's freaking Manhunters. I don't know. Really unlucky. Really unlucky with Manhunters. Take all the jelly. That's a lot of wealth. Oh, let's see. Anything else you want to take with us? Wait, one of them downed? Oh, I didn't I didn't see. Thank you. Oh crap. Um Shiz. Uh. No, I didn't even see them. Thank you. Oh crap. I didn't realize he eventually fell. All right, he's good now. Yeah, Randy, grant us a crafter. That's real. I think I might just do a, well, no, we'll work on getting the machining table done next. I was gonna say, I'll, you can use a um, crafting spot to crush mechs, but I think I'm gonna just try to get the uh, machining table done. Empty just case. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll see if it, it catches first. Let's see what tin quality we get here. Okay. Uh, let's go in Fox. We get beating up naked prisoners. Uh, Times Rush Devil Strand. How good is this material? Devil Strand is the best material that you can make yourself for clothing. It's the third best uh, textile in the game. Third best in the game 
even out of it, all leathers. So Devil Strand is incredibly good. It's it's kind of stupid good that you that for being something you can just grow. It's really crazy. Devil Strand is is amazing. Which weapon is preferred for melee focused unit? So the two best melee weapons that you can craft yourself are Uranium Mace and Plasteel Longsword. Depending on quality, but in general, those are the two best ones you can actually craft yourself. Um, if you talk about adding in royalty, the Zeus Hammer is kind of the best one all around. Mono Sword is also good though. And um, the Plasma Sword is not good because it breaks, um, it breaks collision. Zav, blue, bounce, win. Imperial collectors have less biocoded weapons. This is the case, the rescued pawn. Uh, his gun was biocoded, I noticed. We're not going to strip him, though. That would be very good of us. Even if they weren't. Yeah, so Devil Strand has the third highest sharp resistance. And sharp resistance is like bullets as well. Bullets count as sharp damage. So Devil Strand is very, very good. Dog leather shirt, is it supposed to be a good guy run? What's the difference between a dog leather shirt? We, we, didn't, we didn't make it, we didn't butcher it. This is just something that's, that was on the map. Dog leather shirt versus sheep wolves. Well, I guess the sheep don't die for the wool, but anyway, we didn't make it, so that's fine. We're not even, we're not even wearing it. Yeah, we hate uh, butchering, hunting, that kind of stuff. So it's fine. It, it's just something that fell on the map. So I'm not, uh, not too concerned about it. Thrombo, Thrombo fur and Hyperweave. Hyperweave, uh, Thrombo fur and Devil Strand are the top three in the game. Hyperweave actually has the best blunt resistance, if I remember right, which is important with how uh, armor is calculated, but. Inspire creativity. Pretty low on food. Should probably start overgrowing some rice now. So we can always uh we can always trade it, so yeah, thermo fur is uh crazy good. Hyper is good. Can't make those two on your own though. Oh, all goods. Okay. Uh so Devil Strand being in the top three and it being something you can grow is really amazing. Uh, you know what? That's fine. Grab it. Synthreads? Synthreads not really very good, no. It's... It's pretty... <laughs> It's surprising that they haven't uh, changed Synth Thread, allow you to make it or something. Oh, we're on rice for peacemaking. Yeah, that's what I was like. If we grow too much, we can just gift it. I believe shirt and pants with flak vest and double strand duster would be pretty good. First started streaming YouTubing, was there anything in particular you tried to do intentionally to differentiate your content and find a niche? Or did things kind of just fall into place? Streaming specifically, challenge runs, yeah. That's what I did. So the main thing that got the stream off the ground to start with was I was doing these insane Darkest Dungeon challenges. And so um, that that was the big thing that got people to the stream first. And then I figured if I, if I could get people to the stream, I could get some of them to stay. It was all about just getting them to the stream. And so I started doing really crazy Darkest Dungeon challenges. I don't mean just Torchless. I was doing like, I did the world first Torchless, Deathless, all boss, all DLC. 
um, Blood Moon run. And that one is the one that really got the stream up into like a couple hundreds when I had been averaging like 70 or something before that. And so generally that's what I did. I found uh, a game. I, I did some research on games and um, I would choose ones that I could do crazy challenges on. What? Not my fault. That's it. And for YouTube, I uh, I put the challenge runs on YouTube and I made guides and I just, that's it. I just kept working. First thing shirt, hybrid weave, duster, you can get the best of both worlds. Yeah, I mean, it, it's probably not worth doing that kind of min-max, you know, but if if you had all that stuff, yeah, you might as well. You could have to tell refugees foster. Yeah, I was thinking that too, since we have to accept all refugees. Yeah, that's another, another thing to keep in mind. Uh, I might actually sell some of the Devil Strand right now. I mean, it'll eventually grow back, right? The cloth we're going to need for flak vests. It's the red. <laughs> yeah, dyeing my hair pink uh, a month ago. That's what did it, yeah. Let's go, Riddler. Big chill. Yeah, I used to stream overnight. So the stream was, like, super chill. A lot of people just hang out, fall asleep to the stream, which is good. Oh, we need a barrel. Can I get that barrel? I can get it. All right. Nice. All right. As far as game selection stuff, I researched and I can tell you how I researched, how I initially landed on Darkest Dungeon is the game I, uh, I started the stream on. If anyone's curious. Um, I'm not going to worry about food. We have, um, Shizabob going for that, so. Alright, we got a barrel that is incredibly important. Wear chicken suits. Uh, let's go and hash. We really seem to enjoy crazy challenges, like in RimWorld, yeah. And I think no pause was even beyond that, so. The footing when, with, with RimWorld was not just challenges, but the no pause, I think. And the reason I did no pause because that's what I enjoyed watching more. I I don't. It's very hard for me to watch streams where people pause all the time now. Flag vest, turbo leather, yeah. Need as much comfort as possible, or as little so they stay in bed longer. Uh, they're gonna stay in bed regardless, as long as they're on bed, set to bed rest, and they're not getting having to get up to eat. So it doesn't matter too much. Speed two, no pause becomes the norm. <laughs> so an ice team. Welcome in. Sail, welcome in. All right. Um. So getting a mortar is incredible. That uh, really makes us feel way safer. Way, way safer. Um. So. Oh crap! He uh he made it there while all that was going on. Um, sell this stuff. We're gonna have him buy two meals to get back home with. Let's see. We could have him grab a helmet. Bionic Eye, we can't afford yet, but we do need one of those too. We keep grabbing another barrel. Medicine. All right. Um. Yeah, let's have him grab some helmets. All right. In the last little bit, uh, with components. A, B, C. All right, get back home. Material, material research station changes back to value, size, riches, and appearance. For research station, no. The main thing that impacts research station, aside from, um, or that a lot of people don't know, is 
how clean the environment is. A sterile environment for research increases research speed like by 25% or something crazy. Yeah, we can't banish people. Tree eight hundred percent. This tree. Oh man, that's yeah, that's crazy things. We're talking about beds. Beds do impact material uh, and quality. Both impact bed. Um, normal beds it impacts the rest effectiveness and the surgery chance, but not the immunity gain speed factor on normal beds. Uh, metal and wood beds have the maximum, all quality equal, and then stone beds, um, aside from uranium, <laughs> uranium has the same as steel and wood, uh, but stone beds are worse for rest effectiveness and stuff like that. But for immunity speed gain factor on normal beds, doesn't matter. All right, so what do we need? We need five components. So we need one more. Uh, we have some coming back, but we also have a couple here. And that's different on, uh, and then of course the hospital beds add, add to those things, but just same quality, normal beds. So I mean there, oh, I need to clear that wall area too. Okay. Thanks, Surreal. All your questions about wealth and watching every time I started to wonder, what about, eventually answered that rapid fire rundown. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. More coming. Beds, you have a level 10 builder. Excellent beds are really good. Uh, one of the one of the big things, like it's a pretty big jump and it's worth the wealth, I find. A lot of things like that is not worth the wealth. But uh, excellent beds are not only because of the rest effectiveness, but because of the extra comfort you get. It only takes a single extra comfort item to max out their comfort in their sleep schedule. So what that means is like if you're having a barracks, you can actually just throw down a, a single dresser if all the beds are excellent. Um... As long as they're all metal or, or wood and everyone's going to get their their mood capped every or uh, comfort capped every night it's really really nice yeah i think thanks yeah it's pretty awesome that uh smurf is making these guides with me yeah hopefully that allows us to get out more guides than it normally would be able to i know it's going to Because you had a script, you want to say? Hurt. Uh, I I tried to only go fast in the rapid fire section, and it wasn't just because of script. I always have a script with the guides. It was because the way that we, um, uh, the way that this one was made, was that the video was already all done when I had the script, so I had to try to talk fast enough in those sections to match the video that was already done so that Smurf or I didn't have to re-record all the video sections that he had been grabbing material for for like two months. So that's that's the big thing. Um, you like the speed? For anyone that doesn't know, you can always change the speed on YouTube to any number you want. You can actually do it different than the settings on YouTube. You can always hit the gear and listen at like 0.75 is too fast or 1.5 is too slow. All right, shred mechs do forever. We're gonna get some SMGs. Pawns twenty everything. Got Trade Center overpowered gaming just for the sake of it. No, I've never done that. Yeah, YouTube you can rewind, you can change speed on your own, yeah. What am I gonna do with the bad auto joins? I already have had some of those. They just live with us. They're part of the colony. Uh thanks, Tally. I was almost gonna be a teacher. So Originally, when I was going to college, I was like, I really liked history. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna study history. And then I started looking into it. It was like, all right, the only jobs, if I study history really, is to be a history teacher or professor. And I was like, I, I can do that. I can be a history professor. And I was like, you know what? I don't wanna, I don't wanna be a professor. And so I switched to psychology and now I play games for a living, so. Yeah, hopefully we hit Hit right in the good spot of being not too fast, not too slow. But strong history teacher vibes. <laughs> Almost. And a different life, maybe. You went to school for philosophy, ended up software. Yeah, I took philosophy for just for the credits, too. 
which historical period. So that's another problem with me. I've talked about it on the stream before and I, I, there are other people like this too, but one of the problems with me is like, I wish there had been something. Now I'm an adult entertainer. I wish there had been something in my life, just one thing that I was just like really loved. And just that people that from the time they're kids want to be a certain career and that's the only interest they have. It's, and they can just laser focus on it. It's, it must be really nice in a way. For me, it was hard because there were so many things I wanted to do. There was like 15 or 20 different careers. I'm like, yeah, that would be awesome. And I really want to do them. So it was really hard to try to decide on one. And it kind of happened the same way with the history thing too. So with history, basically, especially in college, you're supposed to kind of specialize in one, you know, like, um, for me, I liked all of them. So it was very, very hard to decide. I really couldn't decide on which one I wanted to go with. So I had that problem uh, in general, but also with history. But those people that are like, from the time they're in like hot, like middle school, high school, they're like veterinarian. That's all I care about. I just want to be a veterinarian, nothing else. I don't care about anything else, any other job, any other career, veterinarian. And they just get to go straight on that, that track. I was pretty jealous. I was like, why do I, why do I only, why don't I have just one passion? <laughs> do the other way around law school and then change history. Professor Adam. Grad school to be like e-professor. Got really fed up with all the politics. Fail people who failed. So you quit your PhD and went to industry. BA in English. Now you work as QA engineer. One through three. I don't want to be the professor. I want to be the skipper. Mr. Insyak is really tough. Get a real solid job. I know. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny that I went from uh, history to psychology because I was like, oh, I don't want to be a teacher, so I'll go to psychology. And then I was like, I was studying to be specifically a criminal profiler. And then I realized, you know what? This is actually going to, it was super depressing. Criminal profiling was super, super depressing. And I was like, there's a reason why a lot of people that go into that career end up being depressed and even committing suicide and stuff. Like we started, uh, we started learning about these like child cases and stuff. And I was like, no, 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 thanks. Laser focus on software engineering to college and then your classes you need to do with software. Seven, you want to do something with genetics? No. University, you're not sure what you want to do? Rice needs about another day. We're pretty low on food, but I think we might get it done in time. There's some really, yeah, disgusting people out there. That's putting it really lightly. There's, uh... We went over some really... Rough stuff. I can't imagine the people that have to do, do that day in and day out, you know? All right, so we are going to, uh, well, I gotta wait a little bit to get our mortar up, even though we have the, uh, we have the barrel, but I need to wait a little bit. Cause we need to make bullets or uh, shells and that's going to take biofuel or chem fuel and uh, chem fuel is going to take some organics that we don't currently have so yeah I, I don't know why people do that either like as a voluntary position even like uh, the people that mod um, or filter for terms of service on social media or you know like reddit subreddits and stuff and like all day long they're they have to delete and ban people posting gore and worse four years off between high school and college the best decision you ever made allowed you to get the chasing dream crap out of the way the software engineer for like 17 years another good thing about that too is what year is it i think when you're about 23 or so Colleges don't look at your high school transcript anymore. So if you did poorly in high school or whatever, like you didn't, you didn't do 
even if you didn't do poorly, but let's let's say you didn't do fantastic and you're worried about the transcript going into college. You you could literally just do something else for like four or five years and then start at like 23, 24, and they don't go off this transcript anymore. At least not the ones that I know of. There's a lot to be said about uh not everyone can do that, but going to the army for four years and doing college, save yourself from getting those horrid loans, yeah. Another good point. Strangers at your local community college ask you for your transcript. You're what? Really? Pesky Phoenix? That's crazy. Transcript at 24. Transfer to another college for the last year. Graduate before we know. For about six classes. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Tally. Uh, hopefully I can just content create forever. All right, he's healed. Job should screen hire psychopaths. Most psychopaths are not criminals and still wouldn't bother them. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt if some of those people are. I wouldn't, I wouldn't also doubt uh, some of them actually enjoy, you know. Yeah, and yeah, you're not. After you've already done all this, it's not like a job is going to ask you for your high school or college GPA or anything. Oh, right. I was supposed to get a little bit of gold. Right now, we're worried about food, though. Great little deal with computers or engineering. It was simply a path to get a piece of paper to check off during the job application process. Start branching out to hot sub streams. Sell my bath water. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta work on my OnlyFans. There's not much on there right now. Oh, uh, actually, should only fans if you want to check it out. Someone asked because it's the rule that they have. That makes sense. They might not care. Experience is more preferred. Went to trade school. I yeah. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. How did it happen that trade school was at least when I was in high school? Trade school was looked down on by so many. There was a vocational school that you could go in. You could go in tandem to. Um, with, with high school and the kids that went there would get like made fun of like there were people there learning to be electricians in high school I'm, and uh, being an electrician is, I mean that, that's a high paying job too that's a good job like and for whatever reason it had this stigma behind it I don't know if it's still like that but trade school had this huge stigma it's like electrician plumber why don't you get a real job like art history you know like what the crap <laughs> Yeah, 80s and 90s push super super hard for white collar stuff, yeah. Trade jobs, nothing wrong with that at all. We, those things. You know what I have never miss or that I've never understood? So many people crap on like long uh long haul truckers too. Like what is going on with that? I still see that all the time. Like I know some long haul truckers that are making lots of money and if it wasn't for them um I mean all the crap these people have, they wouldn't have it. Like, who do you think's hauling that around the country? It's so, it's crazy. But it's, uh, all these things had such stigmas on them. How close, uh, 94%, we're really running out of food. All those white collar jobs in the poet, poetry industry, that's right. Well, no, they're trying to push you into, uh, into doing the white collar things in college, but then end up going with, uh, Arts and sciences. Modern college is a scam, yeah. Why call the truckers make bank? Yeah, yeah, and it, they're, it's a very important job. Like, I don't know. I don't care what you do for a living. You know, if you're not hurting someone else, then whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, I haven't told this story in a long time about, uh, in Arizona. About speak, speaking of people looking down on certain jobs. Upper class job yeah, was through college. Now that everyone uses college or fewer, fewer trade workers we need. Germany has a controversial education system, which they divide you out very early on between trade school, focus high school, and university prep. Votech? I don't remember the name of it. 
considering the layman jobs. Yeah, and those, those it's such skilled labor. Like the that skilled labor is such a stupid phrase that's been used for really bad purposes. Yeah, long haul trucking is pretty bad for health in general, but providers, some people want to hurt. <laughs> All right, so I haven't told this story in a long time. Arizona. Um, this uh, this person, they were a grocery bagger in... Man, we really need... Are they actually starving yet? Uh, they were a grocery bagger at a grocery store in Scottsdale, Arizona. Right near Phoenix. And he's standing there, and there's the, these two these two um, older people. They're probably in their 50s or 60s or something. And uh, they did the whole paper or plastic thing. I haven't seen that in a long time. But he asked the woman at the grocery store, he's like, paper or plastic? And she doesn't say anything. He's like, ma'am, uh, would you like paper or plastic? And she's just staring at him. And he's like, excuse me, for your bag, do you want them to be paper or plastic? And her husband uh, goes over there and goes, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, she doesn't talk to the help. Paper's fine. I was like, what? What is this real life? Like, <laughs> I don't know. People are crazy. This was a real thing that happened. Scottsdale, Arizona. My wife doesn't talk to the help. Paper bags will be fine. It's like... It was like something you would see on a show or something. It was like, what is, is this? Anyway. Skilled labor. You would have refused? No bags for you. Carry your own friggin' crap. Yeah, they don't they don't even view them as real people, yeah. Major break. I know the rice is almost I'm gonna have to grab some. I'm just gonna have to harvest it early. I I don't think we can wait till tomorrow because they're just gonna start breaking down. Uh that stuff really put us behind all around. So much more important than him. She's standing there trying to figure out world peace at the grocery store. Really don't like people. Yeah. It was un it's unreal. They're gonna prepare for a while. Raids are still pretty small compared to uh, yesterday. Nine tribals. I mean, we've had so many people downed. That no wonder. This professor relative talked to a friend about their job as trucker. How can you load the truck with a forklift? She said and walked away. Oh. And Kim, she surely could have. <laughs> uh. We're not eating people this run, no. No, we are not. All right. Um, we could actually make flak helmets. I'm not going to. We're going to make... I mean, we need a crafter. Let's hang on and see if any of these ends up being a prisoner. We really, really need a crafter. We, we don't have any. There's already a lot more. It's 12 hour shifts, six days a week. That's true, yeah. But uh, them being looked down on specifically. Class available. Shelter for nobles. Uh oh. I don't have a bedroom for him. It's, it's not a yellow quest, luckily. Crap, I need to get the slowing thing set up in there. Why 
Why won't you go there? There's no one else set to go there. Weird. Alright, so we have to try to uh, help that person. Just make sure they're not dying yet. 14, 14. Are you a crafter? Greedy pyromaniac. Oh, there's another one. Is it Sun City? I don't think so. He says is there. No, he was in. He was behind this one. I don't know. I don't know why. That was really weird. It was weird. All right, we're gonna do a little trick here. Of course, it's session. Say no. Capture. Capture. Hurry up. Get them inside. Good person would not dig up corpses. It's true. Oh my god, that's the guy, that's the uh, Empire person that helped us. Okay, they're working on it. Okay. Now, we don't have food for these people, really, but we still have to heal them, so. Gotta heal them. Or just get a little medical and social training before you let them go. Yeah, but when you're starving to death, it's, it's not, not good. No traps? Uh, not at the moment. We don't have a lot to make traps out of. We have, uh, we've been finally getting wood, though. Oh, crap. The wood just came in, so. We'll get that set up, too. Um... We had a few in here, but... Alright, let's get those done now. The wood finally came in. I didn't notice. Faction, who's it on? Gorilla. All right, Gorilla. We'll let you have good medicine. Slow attackers, yeah. I, I was just setting that when they came in. Another infection. Oh, I didn't even check the second guy either. Zidian. That's a greedy pyro. Likely to have great memory, trigger happy, crafter. Okay, we need to make a uh, an actual little prison sometime. What better time than now? Don't need that anymore, so. Um, we're gonna make it a little bit large here. A really good pawn, yeah. Finally, a crafter. So, right. how the uh, who up with the. Faction Zidian, okay. Zidian, we're gonna put you on bed rest during this. Trying 
turns all right. Okay. Hotel slash prison time is bigger than what I usually make prison, huh? Give them lights and everything. Wow. Um, major break on Sace. What's going on, Sace? Recreation starved. Just go recreate then. Easy as that. So we're about to die. We gotta hurry with this. Um, Sace, where are you? Zidian, how are you doing with that infection? All right. malnourished 45 percent cautious we have a little bit of time we got a prison coming for you buddy just hang on have a zone there's just the house i do yet yeah. this guest phase helps this to safe when you have pawns you can't afford to die i do yet yeah. i have an inside zone it's one of the first i think it's it's generally the first one i make i think yeah i have one Pond you want gets instigated by mr pyro gourmand is alive 50 bullet holes that does happen pretty often done in 12 hours Even a double bed for the inmate, yeah. Good guy if I ever saw one. All right. Looking all, all right right now, so we'll go back into work here. Zidian, how's your infection? 48 over 27, we're gonna switch it back to normal medicine. Guest space, and your guest nearly started at the. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. All right. Yeah, hopefully, we get them, we can uh, put them on. on crafting that'll be excellent really really nice oh what oh no gorilla's dead i don't know why i thought it was blue uh we gotta try to help him i don't think there's time crap um sucks I could I wonder if preach health would keep uh they're only 50 I don't know that's 
Yeah, I think they're dead. We're going to try our best, though. Cool map seed. Yeah, if you'd like to play on an exclusion seed, we'll give you the, the details. We're probably just wasting medicine, honestly, but... Thanks, Ash Monkey. I'm glad you find it helpful. That, yeah, that's a huge gap, yeah. Even, that's a really good tin quality, but I, we could try Preach Health. I think even with Preach Health, we're probably not going to make it. And it's a tor yeah, it's Torso, so can't amputate. Well, that sucks. We'll do our best. Do our best. Uh, what is this guy's ideology? Nature primacy. Uh, you know what? We can actually recruit him and, and change him after the fact. So I'm going to go ahead and hit recruits on this guy. We'll, uh, we'll work on that. It's like a real way to do it. <laughs> Amputate torso. All right. And so uh, we want to grab a bunch of these. Ah, uh, they're asleep. Don't be asleep before you get there. Don't even worry about it. I'll tell you, but why do you cut the corners and all of your structures? I just don't build them because there's no reason to. Uh, I'll do it later on or to cover up conduits, but it doesn't do anything. Just it saves work, saves material, it saves wealth. It's just mine as well, you know, because I don't care how things look. So any little bit that helps, might as well let it let it help, you know. All right, Zidian. Yeah, he's gonna be fine. We can actually, yeah, we can actually take him off bed rest. All right, Zidian, get to work. Trap set up. But yeah, it uses fewer resources, less work time, and uh, less wealth. So oh, that sucks. With my gorilla. Sorry, gorilla. I had the infection on the wrong person. Well, I guess you shouldn't try to kill us. All right. Uh, we need to. Someone else already working on it? Yep. Murder is wrong? Yep. Apparently. Alright, let's do a uh, festival. We haven't done one in a while. A lectern would increase it by 15%. I think that's worth. We'll go ahead and finally make a lectern. Uh, what do I want to make it out of? Let's make it out of wood. Use Oliver Wood. We'll close up the opening made by the Breachers. I already did. Breachers are just going to come through here again. So it's closed right now to normal raids. But Breachers will just come through again. So we have a place to kill them when they do. Hopefully. Get that EMP grenade done. Seventy two. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with seventy two. I don't wanna worry about making that stuff. A party. So I played Dwarf Fortress earlier today. If death wasn't permanent, would murder be less wrong? She had a colony of necromancers and her PC was struggling. She was in a battle. People would drop necros to resurrect them. <laughs> They came from the west, yep. So it's not a super bad breaching spot. So if it only ever comes through there, I'm worried about breachers coming through here though. That's a pretty uh, pretty nasty breach spot. We don't know if that's gonna happen yet or not. But uh, yeah, those ones came from here. They came all the way up. I bet ones from down here would come that way too. No idea about any from this side yet. So. All 
The windmill is set to be destroyed. I, I know that the windmill is blocked. Literally, when I built the prison, I said, we don't need the wind turbine anymore, and that's why it has that deconstruct. So, no, you don't need to tell me. Ellen and Matt, thank you are so clever. <laughs> the reason why it hasn't been destroyed yet is because building traps and um, the lectern are higher up in the build priority queue than tearing down this. So. <laughs> you guys weren't listening. <laughs> yeah, so... Should you tell me? All right, Ansta, are you all right? Uh, yeah, you'll be fine. Let's go get this. Best with rim strategy. Let's go, on pineapple. Tame the boom rat. Yeah, we'll do that too. We're listening. What an odd way to start a conversation. <laughs> uh, today's been a rough day on here already. Yeah, we had a. Pretty scary beginning of the run today, or uh, beginning of the stream, but we're, I think we're trying to stabilize. <laughs> Ribbing strats. Well, that sounds wrong. All right. All right, the EMP grenade is getting built. Oh, that'd be nice. Very handy. We need to set this up for an EMP throw area. Oh, I'm not gonna have them roof it. Entertainer, just yeah, I mainly do a lot of rimming, yeah, for my adult entertainment. Just staggering them or doing straight lines. Usually, staggering is better overall, but I was thinking about putting concrete under these to influence them to run over them. So, that's one reason why I did the straight line. But I generally, if I'm just filling the box, I'll stagger them usually up the middle. All right, so we got EMP grenades. Feels a lot safer with those. A lot safer. That's right. Uh, let me try something here. I want to move this down. I think I'm just gonna move it down. No, don't even, don't even worry about it. Not so. I changed my mind. Okay. God, those bots come in every friggin' day. Want to be famous by followers? Everyone looks at your follower account. Yeah, uh, that's true. I was going to Aspen. Shins, welcome in. Tree, what can I say? That's what people look at. That's what I look at when I'm looking for a new stream. I'm like, who has the most followers in the game that I'm playing? It's very significant. Very significant. Should be good to throw EMPs there. All right. Doing all right. Stumble, welcome in. Our online Twitch pushes every other RimWorld stream on you. Doesn't care about you at all. <laughs> they don't know me at all. It's just an algorithm. That's right. You've learned a valuable lesson. I'm 
before they fall asleep. Nope. <laughs> Too slow. Alright, you're winning. Uh, sometimes. Mysterious, are they willing to not ban you? <laughs> Is that a, it's hard to find for you? Just out of curiosity. Uh, so we got our EMP. I think I might want to... I don't know. I'm going to see what they have for trade before I decide what I'm going to... I'm going to make start making helmets either way, though. Simple helmets. Oh, no. Let's wait on this guy. Blue, hurry up. We need your crafting expertise. In fact, I'm going to turn uh, crafting off here. And the other until you're ready. Bloody Mary banned him from the... Mirror for abuse. Wow, that's pretty hardcore. Any catastrophes in the last hour? Ah, uh, yeah, a little bit. But uh, we're clawing our way back. We're, we're all right. We're okay. We're we're getting there. All right. So what animals are nearby? We still have that camel. I think we're going to grab that camel. Oh, there's a lot of elephants now. And then we're going we're gonna to head out. Alright. There we go. Shiz will send you off with that group. There we go. Alright. Um. Shiz, do you still have gut worms? You do. Should we send someone else? I don't really want to send anyone else, but uh, actually, it doesn't it doesn't uh, impact caravan movement anymore. But it does impact how much he's gonna eat while he's gone. I think he'll be okay though. All right, let's go, Shiz. Now, when we get there, we have to decide: Are we going to work on allying them, or are we gonna trade for stuff that we need? We do need allies too, though. So. Take all this junk. Uh, we'll hold on to the biocoded stuff. It's not adding any wealth. We can eventually smelt it, so. All right. Godspeed. Kill them? I, no, I can't, I can't do that in this run, sorry. Does the storyteller take into account a caravan? As soon as a caravan leaves the map, there, it's no longer counted for wealth or population or anything at all. Once the caravan leaves the map that it st starts on, no longer counted on that map in any way. But the caravan itself is counted on its own wherever it is. So it can be ambushed and stuff. But the caravan is independent from the colony once it leaves the map, yeah. Five days in a row with 8 a.m. meetings. Shiz. We'll see what they have. Um, if we have enough to trade for an eye, we'll go ahead and grab the eye. We'll see if they have any weapons. Why does it do this with a camel? What? That's making the caravan take so much longer. He stops every few seconds. You guys still there? You still there? Does that to you too? Still there? I'm still there? Well, yeah, not just camels. Yeah, we've seen it uh, with other things earlier, too. How's when one is slow? They're all the same speed. Vibrating camels. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're all they're all the exact same. Hey, the animatory grew back. Holy crap, this is gonna take him like five times longer to leave the map. I might just start doing elephants instead, since they don't need ropes. They're talking back to him, and Dr. Keith's turning around and figure out which is doing it. To... Who said that back there? That really sucks. We tried our best. Wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough. Hitching spots rather than pins for early game animals. When Shizabob gets back, we will uh, do our rituals. Sounds out of tune. It's Twitch, yeah. You can try turning off low latency mode. It's a weird Twitch glitch. Cook, or is everyone eating nutri paste? Uh, we do have a cook. Not so. Once we get good on food again, I might switch back to cooking meals, but for now we're kind of trying to stretch it to nutrient paste. All right, so if we traded them, 646. Okay, so not enough for the bionic eye. We already know what weapons and stuff they have because we were just here. Uh, we need 25 gold. So we might, uh, we might grab that and then worry about gifting them the next time. Uh, and then we'll grab whatever components we can hold. Shiz, head on back. Shiz is an MVP. Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird... What's really weird about it is that Twitch doesn't allow you to have multiple sound channels coming in. It's all on one sound channel. And it's very odd that you can get that happening on, like, the game sound, but not the, uh, the streamer. But most of the animals they have are the ones that we've already given them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, right, we, uh, I meant to give that to them as a gift, whoops. Plus one, <laughs> whatever, still worth. All right, good thing we were still within that tile. is more noticeable maybe meat and claw but we can't kill them so the reason i'm trading animals is because of this kind of run i normally don't just get animals to sell and gift but we're not allowed to slaughter anything so we are animal personhood we are not allowed to slaughter or hunt so I've just been taming animals and gifting them and trading them. It's actually worked out um, fairly well. Better than I would have thought. All right. So we got a place to throw EMPs now. 
have a place to fall back for breachers. Got our third turret being worked on. Let's see what else is around here. Steel near the edge over there. Don't want any, any part of that. Still the ship part over there. There's some components, but it's really friggin' far away. Yeah, we don't have very many more easily accessible resources. I mean, steel here, but we don't have uh, very easily accessible components anywhere. So we'll keep uh, we'll keep trading. Great animals, you can just sell them to get rid of them. Yeah, surprised they didn't uh, put something on that kind of like selling people into slavery, you know. Stuff on the ground, that's your own fault. Some of the heat. All right, that's on us a little bit, but... Maybe that tail, that's also on us. Uncomfortable. It's because you slept on the ground. ABC. She's with Bob. He's having a tough time. He's got gut worms and uh, food poisoning now. They were alive when we sold them. They're apparently still alive because they're trying to sell them back to us. You monster. Uh, we have 142 wood. So we can do this. There you go. Sidian's over his breakdown. Very good. You'll have catharsis now. You're my boy, Blue. Let's go. Oh, that's gonna be really nice. He can, great memory. Burning passion, crafting, and plants. Nice. Trigger happy, cycle death, all very good. Stop by, say hi. Hey, Ultra Day. Thank you, thank you. He said that I put up good content. Uh, I don't know if I believe him. He's, wouldn't be the first time he's alive. Uh, thank you for coming in. That's a really good character, yeah. T only 23. Look at that, he's even natural meditation, although we're not taking advantage of that in this. It's re that's really good. We've been wanting a craft for a long time. We finally got a pawn that we actually like and want. Most of the ones that have joined. Uh, we didn't necessarily want them. <laughs> Shiz, how close are you to being back? We're gonna do some festivals when you get back here. Game, great memory. Play. Oh yeah, great memory is really good. I really like it. Great memory, especially with burning passion for something. It's gonna be easy to keep them up to like 16, 18 plus. Twitch, YouTube, convince you to. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah, thank you. Shiz Bob is back. Look how slow they're going. Oh, not this again. Yeah, it's pretty good seed. Um, and it, what's crazy, we just it was just a random seed. The bad side is, um, of course, the animatory placement, but it's two hours. It's all right. YouTube Adam's very convincing at converting people to come to Twitch. A lot of people do say that. How do you know the prisoner died, Shizubob? Uh, so there's this uh, tinfoil hat kind of theory that I I subscribe to a little bit. You know how people talk about how bad Discovery is on Twitch? And they're like, why doesn't Twitch do more to, at Discovery like YouTube does? Part of it, I really do think, is that one of the prevailing um, pieces of advice for everyone on how to build their Twitch stream is bring people from other platforms. Literally, that's one of the things... Even Twitch will tell you, oh, you need to be uh, active on social media and all this. And it's true. And why is it true? It's because you are bringing people to Twitch for them. So uh, why why would they? Why, why would they make it? Increase discoverability more when people are bringing money to their platform, you know? 
So, but anyway, thank you for coming over here or for watching on YouTube, whichever one you choose to do. It's all good for good with me. Magic, Shizma Bomb, you know by magic. So we're going to need a little bit more components. And uh, a little plasto. I think I saw some somewhere. Did I see the edge of plasto earlier? We actually just got rid of a little bit. We only had like 10. How long ago did I start this run? Yesterday. So not very long. That might be an ancient danger there. Undamaged marble wall. Do you have some uploading constraints? Um, I do. So in my Twitch contract, I'm not allowed to stream on any other platform. And I'm not allowed to put content on YouTube that I originally made on Twitch for 24 hours. So that's my two parts of exclusivity with Twitch is that I can only stream on Twitch. And some people's contracts are different. Mine is that I can't stream anywhere else um, while being a Twitch partner and have to wait 24 hours. Like this VOD, I couldn't put it up right after the stream. I people do it. They don't seem to enforce it, but. Do you have a prevailing theory for preferred materials to make doors out of? Um, doors that I use often, I want to use material that uh, opens faster, like wood and steel. Eventually, um, you know, auto doors, wood, steel, jade, that kind of thing. Uh, doors that we don't use very often, I usually just use stone. It's most too common, yeah. Where, where did you see the flash deal? I, I do think I remember seeing the edge of some sometime. It looks pretty similar to marble, unfortunately. Something. I have three months. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Just south of the base. Oh, okay. There it is. There it is. That's when I saw it. When we were uh, pulling the bugs. All right. Nice. Thank you. I was pretty sure I'd seen some somewhere. All right, Merrick, uh, you've rested enough, come on. Minerals, for everybody to feel color lines. Yeah, there's actually a mod that changes all the colors of minerals for that reason. You like the mod that recolors? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're playing against Randy this time. Igor is dead. We defeated him. Finding Plasteel, we literally need it to make to further our research. What about, well, we're not trying to say zero wealth. Mod that adds a search bar for the map. Yeah, I used to use one of those too. I don't remember the name of it. It's been a while. All right. It's all that that we'll mine. Hey, Zidin, just take it back with you. What's the mod that does that? Is it while you're up? That one's really nice. Assume you made it off, but was it very hard to be at the end? No. So here's the thing about Igor. The beginning, super difficult. But once we got to the point where we could survive raid uh, cap, it got easier and easier because turrets were so godly. That's part of it. And charge rifles that are 100% accurate pretty much, dealing double damage. Turns out it's pretty easy. It was actually probably the easiest ship launch I've ever done for real. It's Igor. A little, uh, a little disappointing in that, that regard, but. No. Oh. All right, so we got three components. I'm going to need five more. We're going to do some rituals now that Shizma Bob is here. The start was really brutal, and there's a reason why it took five playthroughs, or five attempts to get there. The first year was the hardest by a by miles. 
the Void Storyteller. From what I understand, that one is meant to be played with other mods to overcome it. I don't think you can, in the base game, I don't think you're going to deal with 10 raids a day. <laughs> like, Well, that sucks. Terrible. This one goes boring or something. We're going to have to actually build pews. Unforgettable. So unforgettable that random sheep decided to join us. Nice. Did the flowers make it pretty? Yep. So you see this? This room is very impressive because of the flowers. Flowers only take 30% light, so they grow in torchlight or in lamp light uh, without any problem at all. And so just planting daylilies in here makes the room very impressive without flooring or anything. From Fox, welcome in. Rich store start in the jungle and your pond was unconscious due to an early smoke leaf binge. Raider came in, lit your house on fire and took a stack of silver. <laughs> Cry chopped him like animal specialist. Uh, first time you haven't seen people bleeding in this run. Yeah. <laughs> Go white death. Does the daylily trick work in real life? It does, yeah. I got I got plants all over the place. Look how happy I am. They're not daylilies, but they're also not planted directly on the floor. Cost walks and all of the flowers. It pleases me. You know what? I've only seen this one other time. Let's do it. This one is a pretty cool one. Here we go. So beautiful. Everyone's out here with their wood out. Gathered around in a circle. It's your favorite. It's a really cool one, yeah. We got our lizard hanging out nearby. Well, it's kind of cool though. Like the um, when they showed the image of this when ideology was being announced, and they had like a dock made, and everyone was out like on the ocean with it, helping out those balloons, TD players. Had a refugee come in, become your lover, then betray you, and it killed him. <laughs> nah. Betrayal? Oh, I don't know, because I used to uh, betray them first, so. Beautiful festival. Nice camera work, thanks, yeah. Stardew Valley. So. Yeah, I'm not sure of a specific refugee one story. If the festival fails, do the lanterns land on your base and light on fire? <laughs> Luckily not. Why you guys got me way down here? All the animals I want to tame are so far away. Is that enough sheep to get like five components? Is that the legendary blue? Yeah. It's my boy blue. And so please don't die. Alright, I'm gonna have to babysit him. Having one join means no betrayers anymore. I, I don't know. Uh, they also fixed the thing where you could tell if they're going to betray or not based on um, if they had a timer or not. So they changed that. Cause you used to be able to cheese it. Threw them in with wheat. Well, this map actually, they have some things to graze on out here. So it's really hard to pull them that way. Come on, Insta. Got one. These are worth more raid points than colonists right now. So we got to get out of here right after he's done. What is that? Okay. I thought we were about to get raided.
Uh, let's get you in the walls and we'll get out of here. They fix the trailer, taking stuff, steel, etc. in the inventories. I, I'm not sure if they fixed that. I haven't ran into it, so I don't know if it just hasn't happened in a while or if, uh, you know, it actually was fixed. Uh, we could build this. I'll think about it. All right, Shiz, it's your turn to head out. Or your time to head out again. Uh, we could make him go all the way over to purple, but we know that they have some components left here, so we're gonna stop here either way. So Shiz and all the animals, aside from our good pet lizard here, we're gonna head on out. Hopefully he doesn't get ambushed. He got ambushed once already, and they took the animals and left him alone, which I guess is all right, but. Longest that goal, mission ends. Goodbye, gold. Yeah, I don't know if they fixed that or not. <laughs> you think that icon is funny? Smacking him in the head. I don't know, ice sheet map I have, yeah. I find them kind of boring. Uh, we did an ice sheet playthrough. It hasn't been since like 1.0. So we're talking like my last ice sheet was for like four years ago. We recently did a Tundra, which is a little more interesting, but... Yeah. I don't know. I might do one just to have... Because a lot of people ask, so... Might end up doing one sometime just to have one up on YouTube. Find enough plastic on the end? I have some. Uh, we did get enough plastic. We just need components. Friggin' sheep. They're not getting stuck as much as the camels were. What a terrible place to set up. Eight point nine. We're just trying to like buy at our time, stay at current wealth or reduce wealth until we get this guy recruited. When he's recruited, then we're gonna have him start crafting helmets and stuff like that. <gasps> no, I forgot about that quest from yesterday. Crap. I meant to send someone to talk to them. Uh, my pleasure, yeah, thank you for watching. This is the start, the only real difficult, yeah, that's, that's basically the thing, and it's very slow. So my last ice sheet that we did, I don't think I had a second colonist until like year eight. So it was like, you know, huddling around in a little shack, keeping warm, just doing research, um, eating people that came through, occasionally having to, like, destroy some wealth, waiting for the next decent cannibal to join. It was a very long and small playthrough. And then after things got, you know, progressed, it looked like a normal playthrough, pretty much. Just, it was really cold out. No, Milla, no. Let's go, Milla. Shizob is a vet now. We can't negotiate with pirates, yeah, unfortunately. So. No. Go for it. Queen B. All of it. <laughs> Psychic suppressor. Low shield is very, very good. She's being followed by enemy who wants you to help using signals to draw them toward one. If you do, her enemies will activate a site nearby. Psychic suppressor machine, female gender, four man hunting red foxes are running nearby. So that remains so you destroy it. Um, we should probably do it. It's not a required one because it's not a yellow one. The low shield could actually save us, like literally just save the run. And it is helping someone and we could, we could take care of them pretty easily. Psychic suppressor is really, rough though we should probably do it ideology makes the non cannibal sheep very viable now too yeah we ducks I'll think about this one do I have some challenging start runs coming up we we just that's usually what we do like I usually do naked tribal brutality. One person set to tribal, completely naked, 
the one that I did that for in the jungle is, is going up on YouTube right now. I did a melee only run. Yeah, I don't I don't really know them. I don't really watch them, but I know someone told me that he turned he turned off mechs for that run. Completely turned off mechs. Seems crazy. <laughs> imagine imagine that. No mech attacks. Brutal. Yeah, we had we lost to Igor four times in a row. But and we do all kinds of stuff. Um if you want to see probably the hardest run that I know of is my melee only. 500% no pause run. Melee only. I don't I don't know of any other, especially no mod type runs that are that are like that. It, it was really stupidly difficult. It took a lot of tries. Uh alright. Yeah, I know I know the name though. People mention the name, but I don't I don't watch it. Or I haven't watched them yet, I should say. Um, all right, so we don't need a ton. Let's see what else they have for right now. So, as long as I say, nothing, nothing is in play however they want, play however you want. But I was surprised. <gasps> charge rifle. We got to get enough animals to come back and get that charge rifle. That could be uh, pretty amazing. All right. They no longer have the eye, so it's been... That was in stock, but it's no longer in stock. Um, all right, I'm just going to uh, get components. Um, we are going to need two advanced components pretty soon. But right now, I'm just going to worry about components. So, because we're about to make, like, SMGs and stuff. All right. Do roofs count as wealth? No. That's interesting. That was one thing that we didn't put on that guide, huh? Roofs do not count as wealth. Oh yeah, no, nothing against their stuff at all. For, for sure. Completely different kind of play style. And video style. As far as I'm aware. We actually had an infestation today. Were you here for that, Ill? It's actually kind of scary. But we had uh, some traders show up and help us. Def a cat is best use of channel points ever. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Alright, so you're gonna take them up on that? Oh no. Our first blight. Could zone them but you know what i really want to do a lot of right clicking right now so it's been a while since i had to right click a lot there should be an easier way to cut blight in the game you can so i'll i'll show you when it's still not as easy as like with mods but basically what you can do is you can zone people to only the blighted area and you can go set their um, their schedule bar to be just 100% work. And then schedule your plant cutters for that zone. And they'll just come stay in that zone. And they'll stay there until it's done. Still, uh, still more annoying than just having a mod. But probably will. 
Not sure when. Still screen. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. I got it. Just a cut blight button would be nice. Micro. I need to do some right clicking. This is when you pause. Not so much. Yeah, yeah. So what I was saying, um, like if you have a zone, you can set the zone over it. Set them to cut or harvest or whatever you want. Uh, put people in that zone that can plant cut and then if they try to sleep or something like that just change their schedule to all work just while they're cutting yeah i miss octung octung at tang no <laughs> i uh i've seen how to pronounce it so many times so i just choose to anger Praise people uh no it it's not yeah the blight destroys it basically Acting uh, Ultra Dan, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. Act like a tongue. Yeah, I know the pronunciation's on the mod page. Yep. <laughs> At this point, I. It's good to screw around. Um, it feels like with space traders they try to drop it to the cl closest unroofed place to the um to the beacon that's what it seems for caravans yeah i don't know why they set up wherever they do but they'll, they'll drop it wherever you trade them at a flimmy hatung Yeah, so it tries to drop it near an unroofed beacon closest and if not the closest unroofed spot to the beacon as far as i'm aware but the traveling ones they just you know they just drop wherever they are okay caravan's back and so we need to grab some more elephants so we can go back just bought all this stuff? Cool. Throw it in the mud. <laughs> really suck. Like, sometimes they'll... Yeah, they'll throw it in the mud or, like, straight into some... Some water. It starts deteriorating really fast right away. It's like, hey. Then a raid will happen. You gotta stay inside a little bit. By the time the raid finishes, items deteriorated 20%. <laughs> it's like... Thanks. Awesome. Way to go. A special... Re oh, where was the res serum? What? Near my settlement. Four arms. Four prosthetic arms for a res serum? Oh my god. We could res Batman and I don't want to. I don't want to res Batman. He wasn't good. <laughs> Why didn't we get this offered on the friggin' Igor run? I We actually don't have enough components to do it. Um, I'll have to wait and see what we can get from, from the travelers. We got seven days to try to figure it out. Merrick, what is this about? Oh. Not so compared Merrick's nephew to a grasshopper. Guys, no biting. Oh, sorry, Batman. Do my absolute best to get you saved. Our wealth is only... 30,000 and we have a friggin' res serum offer. We didn't get a single res serum. We got one res serum offer and we didn't take it against Igor. Kind of ridiculous. You get, yeah, you usually get like 15 to 20 days plus to finish it, but I don't know if we can get that many components in time. A crash hopper. How rude. We'll see. Hey, pizza. Four prosthetic arms for a prosthetic leg. Come on. You know you want to do that one. Yeah, on the on the quest there, a lot of times you'll get like up to like 20 days. You're kind of like a grasshopper. Fight me. 
<laughs> Did you say I'll kill you? Till they're recruited. Oh, you he's not completely converted, but it was effective. 2.7, alright. Soon. Uh Insta, let's go. Good job. Do you have enough food on you to try to tame these while you're here? Have I started on cave map before with bugs around? Yeah, I really don't like cave maps. Yeah, I, I try not to choose them, but... We've done some runs um, in the past and not too long ago where I have to randomize everything, including play on whatever randomized map I get. And that does happen pretty often. Bob out again. This is uh, probably the most caravaning I've done in a run of a very long time. Very, very long time. Oh, did I choose? I chose the wrong person. Whoops. Oh crap, they're having to come all the way down here and get that camel, yeah. So I only had to bring one home. Yoink! Bye, camel. Elephants. Uh, those ones are already teamed, yeah. They're w they're already waiting on the caravan. Alright, send the shiz off. Uh, blue. How close are you, blue? 2.7. 2.7. Look forward to that. Very nice. You know what I don't miss about Igor? A lot of things, but I don't miss how common drop pod raids were. I don't have a drop pod raid yet in this one. I shouldn't say that, but it's true. Play no camel. Well, that was so weird yesterday, yeah. So yesterday we had um, a mad camel get killed by a trader group. The dead camel was laying here. We got a raid that attacked us, some tribals, the in two groups. One is that they are the first group, first part of them, picked up the dead camel, and their group decided to leave the map with the dead camel. It's like they're going to steal what they can and leave. And they literally just picked up a dead camel, headed out. Uh, social fight. Someone called your uncle a grasshopper or something. She got the crap beat out of you. Or... For some reason. <laughs> betray you when you had a group four with the tire that didn't betray you? Yeah, yeah, they fixed that one. That's what I was talking about earlier. They fixed that, um... I forget when the patch note was. But yeah, you can't tell by the timer anymore. They fixed that uh, a few patches ago. Psychic Soothe, nice. Mere dead camel to them, a gold mine of meat and leather. Best game music. Yeah, P music takes it to the next level. For sure.
Party. Why are you guys always having parties and shits while I was going? For a dead animal, see if they leave the map. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. All right. Um, so we still want to bring back more components because we are about to. Oh, unless we can get the charge rifle. Oh, I think we can trade elephants for a charge rifle. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Oh, we're just barely short. Can you sell some of your rice to get it? Oh god, if he gets ambushed and that gets taken from us, it's gonna suck. I should start taking someone that's better at social. The reason I take Shizbobob is because he's the least important during combat. So if he leaves, we're not really losing any combat power. And uh, he also... Um, it's, it's reducing the raid. But things are expensive. <laughs> it's worth more than a colonist. Is there a chart somewhere? Curious about Thrumbo. Um, it depends on during the, the, the part of the game. I think stuff like that will be available in the raid point guide that um, Smurf is, is doing the research on. So I don't know if he has like a, uh, an image or something already for that that shows it, but. Blessed out the day lily pipes. <laughs> He's gone. Just Bob's gone again. Party. Okay, how many components? We have 13, so we're going to need to grab quite a bit of steel uh, to get those helmets done. Looks like the next best steel mining area is there. It's not super close, but it's also uh, not like a raid's going to be right on top of us. So we'll go ahead and put that in the work zone. Start working on that. Yeah, it, is, it would be interesting to see. I, uh, I think if I remember right, Thrumbo is about two elephants, right? We have two or three elephants. Thematically, it makes sense too, since he's a cannibal. We always send him. Also, new games to master. If you have the list, would you play each for a few to see which grabs you? That's a good idea. I kind of have some in mind, but I haven't made a like actual list. So I've been looking. I've been looking quite a bit. Uh, Project Zomboid keeps coming up, so I'm gonna be trying that here pretty soon. But I'm gonna probably try it off stream first, so I can really see how I enjoy it. But a lot of people are asking for that. 8% of its combat power. It's in the XML files for dev mode. Dev mode, fifth button, animal combat balance button. Thrombos are worth 500 combat power. 8% is 40. Colonists are worth 15. And it scales up to 200 based on wealth. So 8%. So, I mean, 8% is very exact. So if to do the math like super easily, I guess you could just think of 10% of their combat power the niche game. A lot of people that play um, RimWorld seem to enjoy it, so I'm going to try it. Greedfall. Going Medieval, I'm waiting on it to be updated some more. Yeah. And then colonists scale with wealth, whereas animals don't. If you have virtually no wealth, animals are worth way more. But if you have a lot of wealth, animals are worth way less. Yes, we're finally going to get a crafter. Why do I ignore art altogether? Because I can get the same or similar beauty out of things that don't cost wealth. So art has a pretty huge multiplier on market value, and it's so it's worth a lot of raid points. So basically, the more art you have, the bigger and harder raids are. And on 500%, that stuff matters a lot more. Um, so like in here, literally, this is extremely impressive. No artwork needed. Extremely impressive dining, recreation, and barracks. And what does that take? Every, like, 10 days, we plant some daylilies. That's it. No wealth. Zero wealth to get it there. So, that's why. To get it to that same beauty, to get it to pretty, you know, I would have... The, the art piece would have added more raid points. How can you be a good guy with a prisoner? We nursed him back to health. And then we're teaching him how to be a good person. You're right. Good guys would just not imprison murderers at all. Yeah, 
you're a good guy, someone shows up, they kill your family, and you're like, oh, I'm too good to put you in prison. Here, run free. <laughs> no, we can, we have prisoners, but we, uh, we heal them and rehabilitate them. Yeah, he's being re rehabilitated. Making the world a better place, one person at a time. Bio-coated flowers and roofs, yeah. Yeah, and all those came up today, Smurf, yeah. Isn't that crazy? We both forgot all those. Even though I, we know, both know the answer to all of them. <laughs> hey, we got a new, uh, new recruit. Welcome, Blue. You used to be a, a raving pirate. It's Dragon Mom. Dragon Mom with a beard. <laughs> Welcome in, Dragon Bomb. No judgment here. No judgment here. All right. Now we got to get his crafting up. We got some uh, Devil Strand coming in, which will be really good. No drugs. I wonder if they're over that yet or not. The Bearded Dragon Mom. Stockholm Syndrome. Don't stoop to his level. Let him kill your colonists. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no Kool-Aid here. It's a rehabilitation center. And they're not even converted, you see. Do I still split recordings? No. I do full streams lately. Who's Narth? Why are they smacking you? That's what she does. I don't know. It's 2022. Nothing's wrong with having a bit of beard on your dragon mom. I got the gut worms. Try out Factorio sometime. Yeah, that's another one that a lot of people mention. Prefer five o'clock shadow mom. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's the charge rifle. Be really nice on Dragon Ball once they get some shooting skill, but for now I'm gonna throw it on Zidian. Sorry, Zidian, come back. This was started yesterday. Toxic Spewer. Man, we still have the adaption factor. It's it's a bug with Twitch, so it's usually caused by low latency mode. You try that, go down below your chat, click on the little gear and uh, click on advanced and turn off low latency mode. Nine hours also. And that initiates in four days. All right. Uh, we don't have smoke yet. With smoke, I think we can take care of it. Even with the three pikemen. Uh, it's in a pretty good place to get hit by travelers. We have four days, four days. Yeah, but it's a Twitch bug. The uh, the distortion. I don't know why. All right, you know what? Per time makes the helmets, even if they end up being uh, being crappy. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, set up make simple helmet. And how many do we need right now? We're just gonna put it at five. We're not gonna do what I typically do. Shut down the computer. Throw it in the yard. What are the restrictions on non drop pod raid spawns? Like what causes them or how the game chooses or how big they can be or uh, what kind of what kind of information for them are you looking for? Caravan spawn, got immediately killed by mechs. Yeah, you can turn it off and on. Sometimes you can just refresh the stream to like resync it, yeah. The 
physical location of the raid. So... What are the restrictions of how non-drop pod raids spawn? Any any walk-on point on the map that's not like deep water they can spawn on, if that's what you mean. So how threats like that work is the storyteller has a weighted um, role and it can hit major threat. And when it hits major threat, there is another file that has all the major threats and it has their weights as well. And then, so it goes through that. Uh, raids are one of the highest one, raid type threats. I think it's like a 7.4, whereas like infestations is a two. So you're, you know, three and a half almost times more likely to get a raid than you are an infestation. So anyway, when it hits raid, then the ones in that also have a weight. And so it can hit, uh, if you have the minimum raid points, it can hit things like drop pod raids, sappers, breachers, etc. Each of those have a minimum and a maximum uh, raid points. And then, or cost, I guess you could say raid points. And then depending on which one it hits, it then spawns however that raid can. So like a normal walk-on raid, um, if that one's chosen, can enter your map from any border tile that's not, that's not blocked by fog of war. So like this mountain. Uh, and not blocked by, like, deep water. So hopefully that's what you meant. If not, just let me know and I'll answer. Whatever. Why would they be crafting the new crafter? Because they only have a four right now, so they're not good at it yet. But they can get good at it really quickly. Look how fast that's going up. So one thing I can do, you can do this, like, right before they get done with it. If you want, you can cancel it. Make them do it again. And the good side of that, you, you lose about 10 ingredients, but you can have them train that way if you want. So now she's back. I probably won't micromanage that, but you can do that. Wrong, do it again. <laughs> so hopefully that's what you meant. But if not, Calgain, just let me know and I'll answer whatever. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about doing that until they get to like level six or eight or something. Can even do like um, crafting spot and in the dark, yeah. And then you can do things like um, make a war mask. Hey, I thought we turned everyone else off of this. Oh, I see. It's actually under crafting there, huh? So we can have... Okay, the mechs are woken up. So we gotta stay inside. Bonus points, too cold. Yeah. The slower they work on it, the better. So there they go. Can they spawn on undiscovered? No, they cannot. If you can't see the spot in the fog of war, they can't. There is a bug where it can happen sometimes, but it's uh it's very rare and uh under very specific circumstance, but in general, no, they can't. So if this is open, but we just don't know it, raids won't come there. Not fighting the mechs? Nope, not yet. Not yet. We need, uh, I'm not going out there <laughs> right now. Blindfold is a good way to slide on crafting too. That's interesting, yeah. That one I haven't used yet. Food binge, please don't leave the friggin' base. Not so. Just eat paste, alright? Using a lot of wood to do this, but that's alright. Halfway level 5. Forget to take it off here to raise the. <laughs> Just do a training montage. It'll only take 3 minutes. Uh. 
Uh, epidemic. Welcome in. Yeah, like a side effects crafting speed, yeah. Now, this doesn't work with all jobs. It works with, like, crafting. Oh, it's a friggin' ship. It works with crafting because they're gaining experience while they're doing it. But there are things that they don't. Uh, they don't until it's, the job's completed, so. All right. Well, we don't really have uh, anything for you, so. Staying pretty low. Pretty low. I think I'll let her get level six and then make the helmets. But for instance, Botch City, less resources are an issue. Uh, a new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. Solaire! Oh, Solaire, thank you for the 10 gifts. I was thinking Solaire. Spaceman Solaire. To Nolt. Uh, Kazira. Sath. Fake. Nova Steel. Heavy Meta. Freak. Faz. Ghost Watcher. And Gaston. Oh god, I remember a Gaston in one of our games. Was, was that the 20 year run? It was 20 year run, I think. We got killed by a rabbit. <laughs> thank you, Solaire. Very much for shooting. Thank you for the support. Praise the sun, etc. Dragon Ball was like, why can't I finish this? Little grand steel, cancel it before it's done. As long as you avoid botches, you never lose material. Uh, oh, the steely, yeah. Dragon Ball, we'll let you eat for today. Just gotta make sure she doesn't make that. So hopefully we have a trader come in within three days. If not, uh, we're gonna have to try to do this on our own, which might be a bit of a problem. Because the Lancers are gonna get built up. Humans and animals are equal. Just humans are just a little bit more equal. That's right. So we could probably handle this on our own, but we'd have to come back here and shoot from here. And there is some risk. Eat the mystery meat that just rained down from the heavens. I don't know that I'm gonna go out there after it. I really need a smoke launcher too. And uh, kind of don't care what the Oh, you found like a song clip. Thank you, Pilot Wash. That's an old clip. It's quick. Yeah, I might just go try to care, but we do have EMP, but. This one? Oh, the trade ship. Uh, we don't have enough money to buy it. Yeah. Oh, the trade ship. I thought you meant there was one drop down there. Yeah, we. Uh, we don't have the money. And this stuff is mainly bio-coded, so we can't even get the money. So we'll just make one. How do I handle them? There are two turrets, and so the turrets are not going to fire. If we hit, if we set up here, turrets are not going to fire. Um, so it's about shooting this and then pulling the mechs in closer. And then using the EMP grenade. And I probably need to do it before we get more Lancers down there. So I might just go ahead and do it tomorrow. Um, I want to get two more helmets, though. I, You know what, Dragon Mom? We're just going to go ahead and have you do two helmets. Smoke launcher, two helmets. Don't worry about this. We'll train some more sometime. We should have that done. Sometime. And then I'll show you how to take out the... The turrets. Maybe we get lucky though and uh, traders come through ahead of the, that. Is there any way to remove biocoded not without a mod? Nope. So the main thing about biocoded is uh, you just smelt them. But... All right. Join J Mac. Happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right. It's going to take a lot of work. We don't need the smoke immediately, though. We can handle the turrets a little bit later on. We can always come back out for the turrets. So let's do the couple helmets first. Building a roof? No, no. <laughs> no roof. Uh, when it's daytime, we'll go try to take care of the mechs. I'd like to get those two helmets, at least for the people that are going to be in the front. Oh, they made a good one. Nice job, Dragon Mom. Nice, nice. Just leveled up, too. Level five. Horror helmet. This might be a scary one. We'll see though. Stalwarts, look at you. Ah, uh, you're trigger happy, right? So you're gonna be doing the EMP, so you're gonna wear this helmet. Um, all right. Last one. Aspen is dead, but great. Didn't that just happen to you? Yesterday and the day before? Change your mind on that. Get that. All right, let's try to take out these mechs. See if we uh, have people die. Hopefully not. It's not a good trader. Freaking ship. It's like, oh, we won't have to do it. <laughs> Their wedding yesterday. The yeah, the uh, half of that couple is dead. Little time out. It's for one minute. For one minute. She can reply when she's back. Alright, let's do it. Oh, dead. <laughs> Lots on a rampage these last few days. Okay, we can always take care of the turrets later. Let's go uh, get this done. It's gonna be a little scary. Was the guy with the charger rifle? He's a brawler. He will get unhappy. Good mech. Come on, move out of the way. I'm worried about breakdowns during this. Wow, what a shot. Dead in five hours. You almost died immediately. What a shot. Um, what'd you... Oh, in the neck. That was really close to death. Jeez. <laughs> Merrick, holy crap. How much health was left? Four health on your neck.
Oh, missing the lung. She was so close to getting home for her breakdown. The prisoner's time. I know I can't harvest the lung either. Yeah. But we got the mechs and the uh, reproducer. So this can, this will get destroyed easily with smoke. So. We got really close to getting two deaths there. So are you still bleeding? No, you're fine. All right. The Hollow Knight. Nice. That's a good game. Feels good to accomplish finally finishing the story. It's a good game. Good timing too. Uh, Silk Song is probably coming out this year, so. No, she lost a lung. Oh man, we're missing two lungs now. Rough. We're gonna have to buy lungs. So we can't we can't harvest lungs. <laughs> sure for sure. It was like a leak, right? So hopefully Silk Song is this year. Yeah, we are really beat up. We need to start trading animals for prosthetics and stuff. Yeah, we still have someone that's missing an arm, but it's not them. All right. Organs for people that die normally. Check the raiders for organ donor cards. You can't harvest. No, you can't without a mod from, from corpses. We'll trade 10 horses for a human lung, anyone? <laughs> That's gonna be us, yeah. 1.8 days. We still have a frag grenade too, so. Grow drugs to finance or, nope, nope. No growing, no drug dealing. That's why I've been taming so many animals to trade. <laughs> Rub some dirt on that lung, it'll be fine. Relax, sleep, risk rain too, Noida. Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is really good. It's a Metroidvania though, so it's definitely different than those ones. It's a really good game, but it's not uh, it's not a roguelike. It's quite a bit different. I'm looking for like one continuous long playthrough rather than doing like a risk of rain two run or something like that. It's a really good game though, just a different one. Going one long from a person, good people. Uh oh. Food poisoning triggers man in black. It does if you've survived the point to name a colony. It's a toxic spewer, yeah, so we do have to destroy it. We just need this done and we'll be able to destroy it. So, so when Dragon Mom's over her breakdown, she'll have catharsis and we'll have her make the smoke. That's really weird, Gocha. I don't know why. Um, have you tried putting it on source? Does source help? Yeah, that's really weird. That sucks, though. Infection. I 
sure he's eating it over this quickly. Let's go ahead and preach health too. Let's just get him through this. We want him back up really quick. Uh, preach health. I should have used combat command against the mechs earlier. Well. Okay. Uh, bed rest on Zidian until he's over that. Is there any ritual? I know they want me to build, make a Christmas tree. I guess I should do it. Else they're gonna be unhappy. Wow, wow. Storm Potentious, welcome in. Oh, you had it open from before. Maybe that'll help. Well, harvest along, but you will buy one. I think they just grow them on trees. Buy an extra body part should not be allowed. Nope, that doesn't work anymore. So. The person that told us that still works was wrong. So fantastic. We have a, a second infestation and we can't deal with this one. Don't trust anything anyone tells you. <laughs> Christ, how many hives is this one? It's three again. Enclose each of the dark green. I think that that's probably what it is. I think so, which means we should do that one. They're like, oh no, just make the grid pattern. They won't spawn. I was like, all right. Touch and roll open as well. Oh yeah, yeah. So the person that was talking about it, when was it? Yesterday was saying as long as there's not two overhead touching. And I was like, all right, I'll just do it that way instead then. So that sucks. To the stream. Hey, welcome in. Chaos. Uh, any sage advice for a newbie? I have a lot of guides up on on Rimworld. It's there's so much to Rimworld that it's easier to answer like specific questions. So if you have a specific question, um, that would probably work out better. But yeah, just let me know. I have a lot of playthroughs up as well, and I try to explain things as I'm playing. You will die. Dying is a learning. Uh, don't. No, Dragon Mom. <laughs> She's going to hold that door open too. Yep. She might have just killed the run. That needs to do big damage. I think it did. Those turrets saved us. Saved by the turrets. Uh, one thing I would say is don't overproduce stuff. So try not to have like big stockpiles full of stuff. I know in a lot of uh, a lot of games it can feel especially like colony builder and survival games can feel good to try to have a lot of stuff laying around, you know, like a lot of, uh, a lot of medicine, a lot of food, things like that. But in this game, you're kind of punished for doing that. Why did you go that way? Oh, I see why you're lucky. Shizma Bob. What a messy run this has been. 
Need all my 735 simple meals. <laughs> Oh well. Good job, guys. I don't even need the smoke. Yeah, but I went with the method that someone was mentioned yesterday by just not worrying about it. And they were like, no, it's only if two overhead are touching. So now I will not do that way again. <laughs> it's good to know. Good to know. Okay. How are you guys doing? Oh, come on. You guys got this. And if they do, we have to run out and help, try to help them. Uh. So I turn it's MVP. Don't reload their saves either. Yeah, don't be afraid to, to play on reload anytime mode. Save the insects? No, that's not part of this. So. Thankfully. What a messy run this has been. We need that uh, smoke. Come on, guys. Oh, in, in era, in Byra? bug personhood they're actually hitting it almost every time come on it's me that worships bugs yeah there are so many mods i played with those yet come on one more good hit okay i lied it's not quite at 20 percent one more no really it's not exploding yet Obsidian, how's your uh, infection? It's okay. Stick with your paste even after you got a good cook with nutso because we were stretching food. So there's a couple reasons. One is we were stretching food. For quite a while, we were down at like single digit food. And then the second reason um was because i guess the trade-off isn't really that that great but anyway they don't eat without a table next to it but i just haven't switched back from when this is the first moment that we've actually been decent on food even earlier today we completely ran out so nutrient paste is very resource efficient way more than uh simple meals so that's the main reason i was actually talking about it earlier Didn't, didn't even blow up. Sorry, Merrick. Huh. Pa's gonna die at the planet explodes? No. They won't. It doesn't explode in that sort of way. Yeah, you also don't get food poisoning, which is another big thing. Uh, there's no, you can't get it in any way. No, there's no power cell. This is a, this is a mech node. It's a mech node.
All right, so we need to fix this. Was that? Does not work. At least we know now, though, that you can't cut that short, uh, or can't do that as a shortcut. Yeah, that's our second infestation already, too. Why can't you defy it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you can claim it and defy it. The mech nodes. A self-powered mechanoid node of unknown function. Mech nodes can be deconstructed to yield valuable resources, but only if they are captured intact. The internal micro power cells will flame out and ruin the material if the unit takes too much damage. It's just a way to get materials, I, I suppose. Advantage having a toxic spewer similar to having a sun blocker. Not really. I mean, the when you have raiders, they're not going to be on the map long enough for them to get like the can get cancer or anything from it. So, not really. Oh no, John! No, <laughs> twenty-one-year-old digger named John is calling nearby. He's hiding from mechanoids. Wants you. To he wants to flee. If you accept, mechanoids will stop a site nearby. There's a climate adjuster. Two man-hunting panthers are wondering. That's not bad. Cluster of hostile mechanoid structures as well, though. That will remain until you destroy it. So we have to accept it because of our current playthrough. Crap. All right. Climate adjuster. Um, let's see. Not the yellow box. Is it possible to grow devil strand with only a 3060 growing season? The answer is it depends. <laughs> as usual so you can grow it on any map you can you don't even need hydroponics you can actually just wall it roof it put a sun lamp in there and keep it the temperature warm it'll grow all year even on a zero growing map right so growing it without if you have rich soil as long as you don't get a uh, cold snap on either end of the seasons you can usually pull off a harvest yeah but it's very yeah. it's not not easy. It doesn't, it doesn't always work out, so. All right, John. Uh, I wonder what this is going to be. I really hope it's not a plus 10. Minus 10 weather would be awesome. We'll just leave it, but. Take the max. Yeah, you can, yeah. But the two panthers will have to kill, so. All right, John. We got to keep you no matter what, but are you terrible? Why are you greedy? Well, John, you're going to be unhappy because we live in a barracks. So, suck it up. Why couldn't you be jealous instead, John? Any other playthrough, I would take your lungs and kill you. But I can't do that. Because we're good guys. Uh, I could switch to bedrooms. All right, so how far away is this? Oh, it's like right next door. It's like right next door. Shifting the temperature. It's increasing it by 10, so it's going to get real hot. Oh my god, we have two dragons. An emerald dragon and a dragon mom. Senpai does notice you. Enjoy your complimentary waifu and all the gasms that follow. Who's that? Baby carrots! Oh, baby carrots, I, I do notice you. Enjoy your waifus. Appreciate you. Alright. Thank you, baby carrots. Same with those channel points. All right, now that we're actually good on food, I think I am going to go ahead and start doing simple meals again. Get the extra four mood while people are, uh, for the help of people being upset. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Who's that? You were noticed. 
Uh, Bird, thank you for the two months. Thank you, Bird. Thank you for the resub. Very much appreciate it also. Killing endangered species. I can't kill anything. So, no, it's not allowed. So, for instance, I can't kill, um, well, any, any animals. I was going to say Thrumbo, but that's part of it, but it's not all of it. All right, we are going to pause this. Is that stream announcer, the Dark Vision announcer? Yep. Wayne June follows the stream, tweets me on Twitter occasionally, and I have a bunch of custom lines from him. Some of them are public, though, um, that anyone can use. If you want to use the public ones that anyone can do, uh, search for Ancestral Bestowment on YouTube. Or not YouTube, on Google. <laughs> search on YouTube. It's probably on there too. Um, let's go ahead and go trade this. And then in 2019, some people got together, about 22 people from the stream, uh, kept it a secret for a couple months, and hired Wayne June to... Um, make some voice lines for me. They also recorded a birthday greeting. It was pretty cool. It was, it was very nice of them. Very nice of them. I will never forget. Uh, all right. All right. Shiz bomb. Go trade some stuff. Zidian, how's your infection? 94, you're good. Good friend isn't a good guy act, though. Yeah, see, those, uh, the organs that we're going to go try to buy, those were donated. It's different. Wayne you to secretly chat with us for a while. Yeah, it's, it was, it was very crazy. Very kind. Boone! What's going on, Boone? It's been a while. We're we vegetarian, we are, yeah. I'm not, but my colony is. Oh, crap. Hey, everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? There's one of them. Uh, you know what? It's actually not that much. I think I'm going to cancel this. I think I'm going to do what I did before and uh, grab some animals first because i'm not even sure yeah i don't think this is enough for us to even afford an organ so let's let's grab some first some more stuff to trade right. our modest fellowship expands being no violence clothing no slaves yeah it is insufferable <laughs> uh nika they use the twitch prime here they use that here count same as here one sub i'm sure you've heard um, appreciate the support. You donate a lung? So, off-site problem causer? <laughs> that's, uh, that's kind of you as well. But no. Alright, um, Emerald Dragon, you equip that. Greedy for impressive bedroom. This jerk. We do need to go take care of that. How many people would it take to kill the two wolves? This one's been on there for a little bit, while. P music, yeah. These are all bio coded. Well, Dragon Mom, I guess I'll just leave you with the EMP grenades for now. Okay. Was it Panthers? I thought it was Wolves. Let's check. It is two Panthers. It's very close by.
Still no cougars though. Oh, yeah, I thought they were on air troubling. I guess I was uh, mistaken. Not a good. Could they have an organ? They might. It's be Friday. They treat today like Saturday this morning. It's a little late logging to work. Whoops. Uh, we have a bionic arm for sale, but or they do, but we don't have enough money for it anyway. We do have someone that's missing an arm. We gotta get the uh, the mortar set up. I just remembered. So uh, we'll just sell what we can, and we need to get the mortars going. Should probably finally do this building. I don't know. That's where uh, crap's coming through. I think I'll do it here instead. So, biofuel can be made over in the prison. Slash hospital. <laughs> the can, it's just rare. Tame some cobras, what could go wrong? <laughs> that stuff over Merrick. Is your gut worms finally gone? Oh, look at that. No more gut worms. Your friends are gone. We're trying to make a bear army. I'd only seen like three bears in four years on temperate forest. Oh, crap. We gotta do this one. Winter's almost over. <laughs> Got around, everyone. Just in time for muscle parasites. Yes. Wow, what'd you get for Christmas? Muscle parasites. Why are just your table this time? Um, I just haven't done it yet because I've been cutting corners literally everywhere this time. But I will. I was talking about it earlier. It's a Christmas miracle. The tree disappeared and became parasites. Read it to Muscle Parasite Party. What a gift. Parasite this whole time. The residents, it's a, it's a compliment, really. Rice alone before you get scurvy. Zero in room worlds. Get all, it has all the nutrients you need, somehow. So we're up to 700 steel. We have nine components. Okay. We're gonna be crafting some clothing soon as well. And the crappy clothing will go sell. Uh, we're not gonna make a lot of chem fuel. We're gonna make it from organics. So we're gonna do it until we have X, but X is gonna be like, like 25 for now. <laughs> Oh, 
very, very little note. Devil strain, hooray! Picking muscle, muscles as parasites. They just mooch off your stomach. It is true. Alright, zone. Stockpile zone. Critical, clear all. Whoops. And we're just going to do explosive shells right now. Hopefully don't get a high shield auto mortar soon. Why we do what we do and all I can come up with is this is how we do due diligence. <laughs> Friends from college, mooch off you. Never give anything back. Yeah. That's true. It's sad but true. Sad but true. Some more elephants would uh wander onto the map. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Can't believe that was in the works then. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll make explosive shells. Uh, I do totally have X. I usually do like 20, but I think I'm just gonna do like, I think I'm gonna do five to start with. So we have something to use in case of siege or mortars. Auto mortar. Put a refinery inside the hospital room? Yeah, absolutely. That's not evil. I, in fact, I request refineries when I'm in the hospital. It's like, you guys need to do any work. You can come in here and do it. Bring your equipment in. Charity quest required. Yep. Yep. Let's go to Marth. Ghost watcher. Black, welcome in. Do we know what animals can eat harvested hay grass directly? Um, I think it, they can, yeah. And which animals? Any animal that's uh, that can eat vegetarian food, basically. So you you can just put it on a shelf or zone it on a stockpile into that area, maybe like just one or two spots, if you want to feed it to them without them having to like graze it. Also, parasites in the prisoner room, they'll keep each other company. If I can get rid of them, I would. around so we put a dress in there at some point we'll get excellent beds but i'm not gonna do my normal setup because i'm cramming more in here than i usually do i think i'm gonna go ahead and finish that building off sometime as well all right so is this uh done now it is we can no longer go out that way but i'm okay with that no more infestations Playing some start here. Mm. All right, here comes some devil strain clothes. About time. Uh, you know what? I'll just do a wooden dresser for now. It's fine. It's connected to all these. everything in there someday you'll do start you irl good job start farming you have to have a uh, a grandfather who's whose farm is in disrepair die that's how all those games are all of them harvest moon stardew valley 
Uh, like, sometimes I'll get games sent to me, like I was telling you guys. And I'll try them out. These farming kind of games like that. It's always the story. My grandfather died. He left me this farm. Yeah, like all, all of them. <laughs> Graveyard Keeper. Man, these, uh, oh my god, plague too. Christ. So Randy's like, oh, well, I haven't been able to kill you. Good old fashioned way, so I'm just gonna disease you now. Fantastic. Two disease events, one right after the other. Spoil Graveyard Keeper? I haven't played it through yet. Keep meaning to. I started it, but I haven't finished it. No good deed goes unpunished. Yeah, plus 10 temperature right now, so... It is hotter than normal. But, some we're gonna have to worry about once uh, the diseases are done. Once the plague is through, don't worry about it. Just a little plague. It's priest health up, it is. We'll keep an eye on that, so 12. 13, 12. Keep an eye, if any of them are uh, kind of pulling, oh, mad bison. I don't know how many, so. Not here yet, that's all I know. Ever get a real crafter? Yes! Yeah, Dragon Mom. Look at that. Burning passion, great memory. Five of them. Is normal efficient hospital bed? No, it does not work as a hospital. It so the only thing changing medical does on a non-hospital bed is just uh, allows you to like right click and choose them to rest until heal. It's just a designator. It doesn't do anything with stats at all. So double bed, single bed, works the exact same. Of course, quality helps with uh, like rest recovery, but doesn't help with immunity gain speed factor unless it's a hospital bed. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's at 107. Just. Yeah, she almost died after we got her. Toss the course. Yeah, we need, we need that ability. Yeah, it just goes down the river. Uh, Meandif, I summoned Granny. Haven't heard from her today. All right, the next exclamation quote you type. Granny will read it. Could be a good one. Could be a terrible one. But yeah, all it does is allow you to right click and rest till healed. We already had the double bed, so I just threw it in there. Probably deserved it. No, no, no. Hmm. No, I'm not going to do that. Well, we have some mortar shells now. That feels pretty good. All right, let's see what Granny says in her letter, leaving us the farm of bad bison. I inherited a farm from my Granny and she left me a letter and all it said was this. I can kick myself, that's good. Granny kill herself? Did she kick her own bucket? Uh, 
Sometimes you get a good granny quote, sometimes not. Heat stroke. Oh, that's right. Uh, I meant to do that a long time ago. Get that done. The granny was a bit senile. <laughs> yeah. A, a bit, a bit. God, it's 90 in here now. We gotta go take care of that, but I gotta wait till the plague's done. Ugh. We can get uh, Moody Ball for a steam in the heat. It's not hot enough for them to get super screwed up by heat stroke. Mean Deef? Okay. No mean. I want to pronounce it like meander. And I just come out with an eef at the end. You're just deef from now on. Plague. Ah, we'll be through it pretty soon. Pretty soon. Fabrication's getting done. It's clearly me and Eve, but who is Eve? Almost makes you think, why don't you mean cat? Is that one still angry? He's still a manhunter, yeah. Calm down! Had him an Eve. Reminds me of the, uh... Was that the Cassandra run with Eve the chicken? That was the Cassandra run with Eve the chicken, I'm pretty sure. Come on, bison. All your friends have fallen asleep. Why are you still angry? Don't you want to be tamed and taken to the city? I could calm the bison down with a magic karate chop, but it's dangerous, yeah. <laughs> that really should do it. What's the range on that, I wonder? No, that's witchcraft. Don't do that. What are you trying to do? That's witchcraft. Angry at a slumber party. Nerd friends go to bed early. <laughs> I had a slumber party in a little while. I and mean wife initials. All right. Can't believe Aspen almost had us doing witchcraft. Eighty-eight percent chance fails. That sucks. Eighty-eight percent is basically a hundred. Should be up. Should always, always get the team. Let's go, Vivi. Invite you all over to the summer party. No. Another 88% fail. Come on, Ansta. You've lost the touch. Touch those by bisolo. Bi yeah, bisolo. Bison, buffalo. Bisolo. That's a thing. It's like beefalo. Which is a thing. Get that bifalo. Just combine all of it. Mmm, roast bifalo. <laughs> it's Badoof. I'm playing the wrong game now. Right. Ugh. Sounds like XCOM percentages, yeah. Really does. All right. Angry slumber party? You call that a slamber party? <laughs> Pilot wash. 
around, do the occasional stream and chat. Gave her that name. Makes you go to bed at a reasonable hour. <laughs> That's right. Let's go on, Baron. Got a lot less done today than I intended already because of uh, just, you know, trying to survive. Wake up, elephant. Oh, what's happening? Please, no. Lynn, two colonists for seven days. So we've determined that we don't have to do these. We did them early game, but this isn't a yellow quest, so we don't have to do it. Um, we could do it for goodwill. Two people we don't have to feed. It's not like Emerald Dragon's doing much work here either. It will reduce our raid points for a little while. Seven days. Get rid of our greedy pawn for a little bit. Who else would I send though? Everyone else is pretty good. Good's in Insta. Vital to this success of this run. Oh, I was a really good uh, doctor and they're doing plants. Animals are not really doing that much other than just to sell. So I might send an Ansta and Emerald Dragon off. That'll reduce our raid points for quite a bit for seven days, which is nice. So I think I'll do it. Usually don't do these. Gambles because I see the design at the top, pink background for one cat, black around for the other. Oh, yeah, I forgot which shirt I was wearing. I was like, what? The four cat shirt, this one. <sighs> was, is there any downside to using Resurrection Mech Serum? There is. So, Resurrection Mech Serum has a chance to apply a secret, hidden disease that you don't see until it's already set in called Resurrection Psychosis. Resurrection Psychosis will eventually kill them. Uh, you can you can heal it with a healer mech serum, but normally Resurrection Psychosis will eventually kill the, the person. And you don't really have it until it's already set in quite a bit, so. All right. Shuttle's here. Uh, Ansta, can you take these really quick? Sound fun? Brother Fluid Ideology at the moment on YouTube. Just wanted to pop in and say thanks for all the hours as well. Spare time you give you? <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you, Pete. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, YouTube is like three months behind. Sorry about that, but there's a lot over there. Feel like the unwanted stepchild. Well, maybe if you weren't so greedy for a fancy room, we wouldn't send you out to help others. Grab Ansta. Job, one more. There we go. Get in there. Emerald Dragon. Get rid of resurrection psychosis with a bioregenerator. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've I've never tested that one. That's uh I'd be surprised, but it would be that would be nice. A triple. Okay, they're off map. Now we're gonna get rid of even more raid points. She's move on. It's gonna be quiet around here. We're gonna be missing so many people. So many people. Please don't get ambushed. I've only been ambushed once this run, though. I don't know why I have to say those things. I know it's not good to say it. We haven't even started making flag vests yet, but I need to. I'm going to keep that for it. All right. 
112% visibility. Oh my lord. Biocoding plaster. Can you remove the biocoding? No, but you can smelt it. It's worth no wealth, so it's not doing anything other than taking up a tile. Zero wealth, but you can smelt it. So at some point, we'll throw down a smelter and smelt that stuff so we can get materials from it. Oh, I should put that out there near them. But you cannot remove biocoding in vanilla, but you can... You can smelt them. Medium psychic drone. Oh, get out of your shizzle, Bob, before you have a breakdown. Uh, let's stay in the walls during this. Oh, my God. That... Okay, we're being out of commission for over a week. Over a week? It's putting it mildly. Were you transcutus? So this time was like 20 days, which is over a season. Crazy. More than a quarter of a year for one thing. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Definitely uh, crazy with non transhumanists. Oh my god, this bug. Yeah, there's just a bomb. So let's melt the delta. Hey, now we only have six people here instead of um, eight. Rage should be quite a bit smaller during that time. So that's nice. Finally getting a uh, clothing made. Why is Hairman like that? It's a it's a bug at the moment. If you um, if you have someone rope a bunch of of uh, farm animals, ranch animals, it stutters like that. I have no idea why. Oh, right. I wasn't even counting Shizubob. I don't know why. I just was thinking of these two and the two I sent in the shuttle. <laughs> Sorry, she's a Bob. You're a real person. You count. Don't tell anyone. You definitely count. You should start working on excellent beds for everyone, too, to help with the rest. I think it's worth a little bit of extra wealth in that regard. So I'll start doing that. Oh, God. I didn't check the plague on those guys. Okay, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I thought I wasn't counting Emerald Dragon. <laughs> uh, that would have been cruel. Put your on route. Yeah, but it's not very high tin quality, but no, they're fine. They're fine. Cruel, but accurate. All right, we'll start uh, working on some of these beds. Uh, let's go in Zidian. Go ahead and make one of these for you. It's a bed. Your pawns like that. Uh, it's the period and comma button. It's pretty handy. Hey, excellent bed right off the bat. Can you do one more? Nope. So excellent beds, excellent wooden beds are good enough to max out comforts um, with just a single comfort item like a dresser. And then it also uh, has really good uh, rest speed. So that's why I'm aiming for, for excellent. I, I don't really talk about that much in the runs, but someone mentioned it today and you've probably seen in runs before. Where I'm like, all right, let's make everyone an excellent or better bed. That's why. Like drones ending. Nice. Lasted about a day. Pretty typical. Alright. Uh, when Zidian's up, we'll have him build a couple more. I think he's still the best, right? I could actually make him a construction specialist now. I mean, is all he is doing is building. We don't need him for mining anymore. Oh, wait. He's the leader. <laughs> Never mind. I can make Merrick, but he's uh, he's pretty important with plants, so. He can't be the leader and a production specialist. Why not? 
All right. Um, they don't have the organs we need still, even with their restock. That's unfortunate. We might just make them an ally instead. Not quite there still, though. I had to bring them quite a bit more. Could swap the leader, that's true, yep. I do have a smoke launcher. Sniper rifle, both nice things to have. Uh, Yeah, I think I'm just going to gift or... Actually, I think I'm just going to sell for components again because we need to get everyone into uh, like SMGs and flak. I'll feel a lot safer when we have that set up. So we'll do it. Alf, thank you for the bit. Thank you, Alf. Welcome in. All right. Should be enough. Probably need to mine the rest of that steel. Dragon Mom, I might make you into one. But you're already helping a lot on plants right now too, huh? Especially while they're gone. Off into factions restock. I think it's uh, normally 30 days, but you can click on them and you can click this button, show what we'll buy. And I'll tell you when their next restock is. So this one will change stock in 16 days. You can do this without even going there. So I don't see a lot of people doing this either. But like, you can do it with any settlement that you can trade with. It'll tell you what they have before you go and when, uh, when it will restock. What's harder to get ahead of, wealth independent or regular mode? Wealth independent, depending on percentage um, that you set it for. So for instance, wealth independent mode set for 10 years uh, on 500%, you get to raid cap in like end of end of year one, beginning of year two, which is almost impossible. So it just depends. Percentage plays a really big part in both, but an enormous part in a uh, wealth independent mode. But yeah, and you don't need a mod for that. So you can just click on settlements and see. So we were gonna go there either way, but it might be worth now waiting a season for them to restock and then go in and see if they have those organs uh, that we need or prosthetics. Although we're bringing back these, we can probably make some prosthetics ourselves now. Let's see, we need an arm. So we'll do that first. Uh, we did. We also need to make flak, which is more important. Probably flak. Uh, it's not a good, so, uh, hmm. Let's see what these guys have. Nice prison, the double bed, yeah. All right, what you got, York? Got peppermint patties in there? Hope so. Of course, we took all of our money with us, so we can't really sell them anything other than Plasteel. Uh, they have a heart. No lung, though. I might actually sell them Plasteel to get a lung if they had it. But, don't. So. Yeah, it'd be nice. Bionic lungs, that would be excellent. I'm sure there's mod for it, of course, but. All right. Uh, you are idle, so let's see about another excellent bed. Nope. Down. Do another one before. Whoop. No, no, no. Do another one before you sleep. Come on, Ziddy and <laughs> Peppermint Patties. It's the Rimworld slogan, yeah. There's a mod for that. There almost always is. Four days until our festivals. So that'll be nice. All right, 
Zidian. Again. Oh my god, Zidian, come on. This is uh, wealth management. <laughs> it's deleting wood. Got it. We're at two. We're gonna get up here, excellent. So we're at three, excellent. We need six more. Throw these in there for now. So we'll be able to make our own components. Might start doing deep drill scanning too. You can buy a couple of, uh, maybe I'll even do long range. I don't know. How long is the list? It's like 130 people. I'm gonna have to make it more expensive for something or do it differently make it randomized somehow. People have suggested that you can't really do it randomized with channel points, so I'd have to set up the bot again, but let's see. Not sure how I want to, but I never get through the queue in a month. Even with runs like Igor, we didn't get through the queue, so. Welcome back, Shiz Bob. You seem to be pretty unhappy. How do we go through colonists faster? The five Igor runs, I went through like 60 names or something. Maybe more. We're still 120 something deep. All right, start working on these uh, flak vests. Runs a 200 pawns. <laughs> Maybe like the last week of every every month. It's like, all right, it's time to do a run. Just get as many pawns as we can. Get like a hundred thousand to reserve a name. Have the bot. I don't know if the bot can connect to channel points in that sort of way. And then even if it did pick the name, then I'd have to go through the queue pages, find the name, and then hit accept on that as well more crazy away missions. Yeah, we have a pet one too, but it's separate at the moment, yeah. Hey, Hans, after those you like best, find out who you really like. <laughs> yeah, here's from a charity event we did. Uh, as a group, we raised $85,000 for Doctors Without Borders. Crazy. How do I do charity events? Uh, that was the first really big one that I've, I've done, yeah. So. When I get invited to them, I suppose. I can do them on my own too, I suppose, but. So once a year at the moment. Uh, chat, no points used. I used to do a, a system kind of like that, yeah. I might do it again. I'll think about it. Mom, I'm really tempted to make you a specialist. Yeah, we have enough people helping with plants. All right, I'm gonna do that. Wait, do we ever convert you? Nope. <laughs> yep. All right, our first maker. That will ensure these flak vests are decent. And before we start making SMGs too. It would be fun with 20 else. <laughs> also had people, I wouldn't do it, but it's it's kind of funny when it happens. There are people, I actually had people contact me like, hey, can I donate to you to skip up in the queue? And I'm like, no, that's, that's a slippery slope. Sorry, I'm not doing that. But it's kind of funny. Plus one quality. Get and set, accept status, channel point redemptions is theoretically possible. Or you might play with it. Uh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, if you do, Leno, you know, the bot that I use, I'm using Streamlabs bot at the moment. It used to be Ankh bot, but they bought them out. So Streamlabs bot is the one that I use. And I don't use their cloud one. I use the one on my computer, so. So is there only something like that? Also like, be nice setup to you. 
get your pawn now sort of thing. So yeah, what I used to do is every time there was a pawn to be named, I would set up a uh, a giveaway in the chat and I would just run the giveaway. So I might do that again. Wonder if I could set that up to where you have to spend channel points to enter the raffle as well. And that way, even if you lose, the channel points are gone sort of thing. I'll have to look into it. I'm sure I can do it. It's a matter of getting it set up, figuring out what's best, but. So, even if it's like cheap, like 500 channel points to get a raffle into it, you can't buy multiple sort of thing. So, yeah, I, I'll look into it probably on the next reset. Can I move up in the queue if I mow your lawn? Yes. <laughs> also, I, I can't share where I live, so. All right, we don't have any tribute. All right, making flak vests. About time. We're only two years in. Points for cats. Alf, I gotta ask. Are you the one on YouTube that comments about cats as well? Is that you? Yes, good luck. <laughs> Wake up in your yard mode. Assume it was me. Fabrication, nice. Essentially, while waiting for raffle, just thought. Not if I put the raffle on my secondary computer and I just have the game running while it happens, so. Since I don't pause, the game will run regardless. That's a YouTube. Just mow every lawn you see in Indianapolis until I say that mine was mowed randomly. <laughs> yeah, we're still in year two, but all the quests and all the near-death experiences make it feel a lot longer. I think it also feels long because it, even with all the action, it's not like the Igor run, right? Igor was really crazy. We were getting attacked basically every two days. Max and fences? No, you can. A serious place filled with Mr. Beast videos and TikTok compilations, according to your. So <laughs> hygiene, sword win. Hugs, welcome back, Z. Yeah, only two years in. Feels longer. Yeah, I don't know why. I kind of wish we would have more raids and manhunters. I really, I've talked about it quite a bit, but almost every playthrough we do, it feels like. Um, there's a theme like for a couple streams in a row or a stream it's like today's mech cluster day and I'll just have mech clusters all day no normal raids today's animal day today's breach day you know but Adam, every day is breach day yeah that is true we researched Devil Strand as one of the first things and it's year long growing here so it didn't take long to get to Devil Strand bloodlust yeah because we haven't had many pirate raids we actually i was i was really thinking the one reason one reason i haven't made smgs yet i was like we can scavenge enough smgs and chain shotguns and stuff it'll be fine and so i didn't really worry about it very much and it really bit me in the butt usually i rush smgs on this kind of playthrough but i guess i just should have but um on the igor one i got spoiled we got attacked by pirates almost every day and so we were on smgs immediately And Walker, welcome in. Hey, late game being mech breach, mech breach. Hey, a normal raid. What do you know? Prepare for a while. They're pirates. No, they're not. <laughs> Raids are back up to. Yeah, not too much. Split raid up to 13. Oh, yeah, we're missing a lot of people. So this should, this should be fine. Oh, crap. That's still shut because of the uh, man hunters. Open that up, Zidi. Siege Day, for some reason, they're pretty common on your map. Yeah, it was really weird. Um, on the 
on the Igor playthrough, the last one, we only had a couple sieges in maybe like two, but we had so many drop pod raids. And this one, we haven't had any drop pod. We haven't had any sieges this time either. Brutal storyteller spoils player by sending heaps of stuff all the time. Relatively new run. Yep. Yep. It is. Pretty new, pretty new. Do we have any downed here? Rolling trees and the anima tree have any special interaction with one another? No. That's what you mean. I think it's time to expand this. Trigger Mom, is there anything else you can equip right now? No, it's all bio coded. Oh, Zidian and Shizuab making lovey dovey eyes at each other. Go more child. The Guarlin tree moss is pretty though, and the animated grass is ugly for some reason. Don't know why that is, but uh, the anima grass does grow over the moss, which is an important thing too. So if you do have an, a uh, do you have a Guarlin tree near an anima tree? You don't have to worry about the moss taking over the or deleting anima grass, so that's nice. Near each other or to make them as part of a dining room. So the main reason I do it, if you see it in the runs that I have up on uh, YouTube, is for just beauty. So the moss is really pretty and anima grass is ugly. So it's like a free way to boost beauty in an area. Do I always do the same structure for defending? It, it depends. I did slightly different in the last map, but it's really... It's really efficient on normal raids, so I tend to stick to very similar. All right, no survivors, so we don't have to save anyone. That's not a very good guy thing to do, Merrick. Don't shoot at those. No down, hooray. One tile, no roof, technically have an indoor tree too. Yes, yeah. We need a sun lamp, yeah, we did that one last, well, kinda. Shoving orange inside each structure is free plus eight mood as well, yeah, yeah. For tree connection, yeah. He wants to kill. He's like, I'm tired of being a good guy. Do I have to bury everyone? I don't have to bury people that tried to kill us. We cremate them, though. We can't uh, We can't burn them with, like, Molotovs or leave them unburied or whatever. But if it's a traveler, visitor, trader, etc., we have to bury them. We got graves down there. And if it's a colonist, we have to do a, uh, um, a sarcophagus. So, for example, make food until you have 15, but don't make until we drop below 10. Yep, that's what I have set up. Here's how you do it. So if you see this, I currently have it do until we are cook until we have 16 and then pause when satisfied, but then don't unpause until eight. So how you set this up, I'll go ahead and do one. Uh, let's go to cook simple meal. Go in here, set do until you have X. Set how many you want on the top end. Let's say you want 20. Click pause till satisfied and then click 10. And that's exactly what this will do. Um, so no mod needed, just make sure you click the pause. One thing to note about this is if you ever change this number, be careful because let's say you get a bunch of colonists that join and you wanna do 40, you type that in, it'll base it off the very first number you hit. So you see how it changed to three, you have to be really careful. So to change this back, but yeah, that's how you do it. 
So what I like to do is I like to set uh, two up for each of the ingredients that I'm gonna do. I usually have more, but these people are vegetarian. So what this setup does right now is they will make, uh, if we have enough materials, they will make four simple meals at a time until we have 16 and then pause until we are down to eight and then they'll cook to 16 again. If we don't have enough for four at a time, they'll use the remaining ingredients to cook one at a time. And the other really nice thing about this is it really helps with wealth because uh, usually improving an item increases wealth, which increases raid points, which makes the game harder. And that goes for meals also. Rice can last unrefrigerated for 40 days. So doing this also means you don't need a freezer, you don't need a fridge, unless you're using meat, obviously. Um, so there's a lot of benefits. Less wealth, lots of good reasons. What's with all the exotic goods traders? Yeah, no problem, Magic Card. If you have any questions about wealth or anything that I'm talking about as far as that goes, I have a brand new guide that just went up yesterday. Very in-depth guide over wealth, what counts, why you should care, all that kind of stuff. I get the sword, it's bio-coded. It was dropped by the Empire, unfortunately. Might, might keep the boomalope. Bionic arm, bionic tongue, still no lungs. I think I'm gonna keep him. I think I should get it back. You can't gift bio coded, unfortunately. Run, having to rush a fridge. Yeah, that is weird. Um, so on your rancher run, while well, you're doing a no-so run as well, so never run. So Harry, well good. Bionic tongue reminds of Rex. Stop out the material and meals are making your life more difficult. Yes, absolutely. By a lot. So a lot of people don't know that the, one of the main factors RimWorld uses to determine sizes of raids is actually your wealth. And not all wealth is created equal, not all adds the same amount to uh, raid points, but it does add to it. Um, and so keeping stockpiles of stuff in this game makes the game harder and harder. Why will raiders attack you if you have more more blocks laying around? Don't know, but they will. Do I drop pods? It it wouldn't do anything. Such fortuitous skill. It wouldn't give any rep or anything because it doesn't have any market value. But I mean, I guess technically we'd do it. The raid points scale with time in any way. In wealth independent mode, they directly scale with time. Normally, kind of not. So it's it's kind of a gray area. It doesn't specifically scale with time, but there are other factors that do scale raid points with time. So what I mean by that is like, there's this adaption factor uh, is, is one of the big ones. There's also some things that can't happen before certain days and things that can't happen um, if another event like that has happened within X days. But the adaption factor basically means if you have had um, deaths by any means or been had people violently downed, it adds to this adaption factor. The adaption factor has a timer on it that makes the raids easier, lower raid points while that timer is going. So not directly, but as far as like the, fact, the adaption factor and stuff like that goes, it does, yeah. And then wealth independent mode absolutely directly uses uh, time, but that's a mode that you set up in uh, uh, in the custom settings. With what event might happen at what date? I don't have that one up yet. No. Like how soon certain events can happen. Like there is a lot of things like that. For instance, like you can't get um, you can't get blights very close together. There's a really long cooldown on blight. But talks to fallout can't happen for a certain date. Uh, maximum level reach. What? Barry, tier three, 16 months. Thanks, Barry. Very much appreciated. <laughs> uh, much love to Barry. Thank you, Barry. How you been? Brazilian Neeson, welcome in. Odin, welcome in. So the ship once your old colony was around 80,000. The ship was 125. Rebuilding thing didn't continue further. The raids have been worse. Yes, they would have been worse. Worse. 
Is time ever a factor? So if you if you keep a colony on the exact same wealth forever and you don't add any more colonists or animals or anything like that, just in theory, and no one is ever downed and no one is ever killed on your side, then the raids would basically be the same size forever. Randy can roll half size raids up to 1.5 times raids, but like against someone like Cassandra or Phoebe, they would be the same. Why turrets in those spots? Those are mainly just to pull aggro. I need to move this one actually. So these turrets are mainly just there for raiders to come in and fight while we get to shoot them. And um, I didn't move this one after we changed our uh, our electrical. First winter, early winter, low on food after a light, no warm clothes, off tile like suppressor ship, fit by a mech cluster. Nine days, through the two point nine days walk through the hills. Oh, it's gonna be a rough one here. I don't know. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, what quality clothes are we wearing now? We need to start thinking about that too as we get more material in. Don't have it yet, though. Yeah, it's basically raider bait. Have you done a run where no one can attack other than animals? Not really, but in the melee run, we used a lot of attack animals. So we did a melee only run where we couldn't use guns, grenades, turrets, mortars, anything. Anything like that. I used a lot of melee elephants. So. How long until those guys are back from the quest? Because when they're back, we're going to go take out this... Um, uh, problem causer, I think. Oh, they're gonna come back soon. Yes, the growing. So the only purpose of growing daylilies is for beauty. This barracks is 120, if it's not 119, 120 impressiveness, just because of the daylilies. And flowers only take 30% uh, light, so they do grow in lamp light and in torch light. They add an incredible amount of beauty. It takes some work, obviously, to replant them every. Uh, what's the replant period on these? Um, uh, every nine days they need replanted, roughly. But no wealth at all, and the barracks is giving a high mood boost because of it. Colonists have returned. Welcome back. Rather start off with a colony of Lucerium addicts or a forty-plus colony facing a food shortage. How many Luciferium Addicts do I have? <laughs> Probably Luciferium Addicts. Depending on how many people. Yeah, I don't know. That's a tough one. Depending on some other things too, but... I think uh, both would be pretty difficult. Their own, their own right. Food though, once you got... Man, 40 people. That's, that's some really big raids. Especially on 500% right off the bat. That's some big raids. So I don't know. See some of the ponds. Food shortage solved. Have to head to bed. Almost 3 a.m. 3 a.m. where you're at. Well, thank you for hanging out as long as you could. That was much appreciated. Have a good night. Come on, Zidian. Once all these flak vests are done, we'll start working on SMGs. Yeah, you could cheese it a bit. Stay right outside the map, surviving off foraging. Fair and say half, 20? No, I would not want to start with 20 people that are addicted to Luciferium. Not unless we had a Luciferium stockpile that we started with as well. No bed min maxing, that's what I'm doing right now. All I need is all excellent beds and I don't have to worry about end tables. So that's why I'm doing that. An excellent bed with a dresser caps out comfort, so. All right. Well, Ants is back. How are we doing on wildlife here? All right. 
against him. <laughs> Would you charge morale? Yeah. Are you over your, uh, yeah, you're over your significant other's death. Let the cannibal butcher everyone else and let them start a new civilization. I could put more advanced research benches down, just get all the research done and then, and then get rid of them. I mean, it's better than 29 components laying around, honestly, but I'm not sure. There weren't that significant. Same food shortage or loose urine question, but the group of addicts has a stockpile of 6.66 doses per colonist at the start. I'd probably go with loose urine there. It'd be annoying to go get it all the time, but a colony would get stuff done. <laughs> That'd be fearsome. Ever make multiple callings? I do, yet. Yeah. I think in the melee run, I actually had four up at once quite a few times. This one, I'm not sure I'm going to do or not. Wow, everyone's here. Bolt goods. I have a lot of bolt goods to sell, but... Here, take some chem fuel. Um, good enough. My wife's not feeling well. Can buy a bunch of cats? That seemed like a very good guy thing to do. <laughs> cats are evil, right? <laughs> she immediately says no. Alright, let's see what these guys have. What? Alright, sell some of this junk. Oh, I see that, yeah. So many cats. There's one under my desk right now. Alright, just hey look, cougars. Got to add both baking soda and baking powder to your gingerbread. <laughs> uh that's not not gonna turn out very good. Do you remember before you actually like tried to do anything with it, or is it like too late? Oh my god, it's gonna be so dense. Ah, oh, it'll be fine. We need to go take care of that problem causer. Crap. I should just go. How close is it? Two panthers, huh? Point two days. Point two days. Let's go. Hopefully some of these traders will still be here. Take your cat along. <laughs> no, no, no. Ginger cracker. Roll it really thin, make pseudo ginger snaps. It's going happy. Huge! Welcome in. Mint for pate, so density isn't a bad thing. So when it cooks, it cools. Yeah, I'm curious. 
Just take a picture and put it in the just we have a food channel in the Discord. Take a picture and put it in there. Cats looking weird where we feed them. Uh lots of flowers mainly. <laughs> New lovers. Shizma Bob and Ansta. What'd you What caused this? They were walking by those camels. Maybe they're talking about humps. <laughs> anyway, let's get off this map and go take care of these panthers. Heat stroke. Oh no. Some more dragon, you don't have a duster? Ah, oh, he's fine. Is he wearing a parka? I hope not. <laughs> he's in the desert wearing a parka. Why am I so hot? Oh my god, he's wearing a parka. Do you guys know you can do this, by the way? This is kind of crazy. If you have something like this, you can actually juggle the clothing and it re-equips it on the other person immediately. Like, parka? No parka. We did this in our, uh, was that the Tundra run? To save someone from freezing to death. We were passing a single parka around like three people during the caravan. <laughs> it worked. Worked out pretty well. Oh, they're leaving the map. No. <laughs> oh, please don't let us get attacked while they're gone. All right, here we go. Climb adjuster. About how they felt like stepchild, then you pull that. They were. Wait, was Emerald the dragon? I think he was the one that was in the nude that we had to keep passing the parker around on that Tundra playthrough. Oh, Emerald Dragon, what kind of pawns do you get yourself into? I think that was him. Crap, we might actually have to fight this. More often than not, the, the stuff like this is inside the building, and you don't actually have to fight the mechs. But uh, I think we... It's sleep. It should be okay still, I think. I think it should still be okay. Yeah, why isn't it in the building? That's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. So what is in the building? Bunch of beds, a bunch of more panthers. Uh, hey, Colony, and do the maps always share the same size as your starting one? The maps always share the same size, and it just depends on the run, whether I want to do it or not. It is a good idea to do it, it really is. Because it shares research, they have their own individual wealth and stuff though, so it's, uh, it's a good thing to do. Adjuster in the building and psychic droner at the back. Yeah, yeah, I know it's psychic droner, I see. And I, uh, I wasn't even thinking when we got here, but it's weird. I've never seen them have that additional thing there. That's really weird. I've never had two problem causers on the same map. Uh, well, I mean, other than like mech cluster drops or something like that. Weird. So it's not letting me do the normal... It's still showing the climate adjuster. Should I destroy that down there to get the materials? I mean, we could do this very easily. Yeah, it's not an area droner, yeah. 
So we could just go to the edge of the map where this green area is and leave, but we don't get to take this with us. Well, I wonder. We can just do it that way. All right, it's fine. Let's get back. This chance for power. I don't know. I think that the mini slug turret's probably going to explode, so. I could try it. If it doesn't explode, awesome, but I, I can't imagine that it's not going to. Oh, let's not take the risk. It's fine. Could have grabbed the plasteel. Yeah. But no, we were we were just there to get rid of the climate adjuster, so I'm okay with it. It's tempting. It was tempting. Psychic droner cause problems? No, because it's on the map. It's not a it's not a world map one. So yeah, if we had had a grenade with us, yeah. Yeah, but we didn't. Where are the little camps near the base? Uh, we're not gonna hit those ones, but there's a mining camp with components. Uh, components. Oh man. And there's the ancient complexes. It's also a worship village. I thought they were all world range by default. No, luckily not. Yeah. That one wasn't the quest one, so. Lucky for us. Yeah, just the just the climate adjuster, thankfully. I need to get uh advanced component. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I don't think I should hack the the terminal for the relic because they're gonna attack me. It's not a very good guy thing to do. See the village without fighting? Yeah, I don't know. That's because they made it so that there's a time period now, right? You don't uh it's not an instant hack anymore. It's a channeled thing. So that was just a recent change. Hacking's kind of evil. <laughs> that was a recent change too, so. Not so sure we're gonna be able to get our relic this time. Roleplay as a white hat. <laughs> she is a bob and Ansta. They already broke up. They became a couple right before the trip, and then they they broke up on the way back. <laughs> Road trips, you know. Winning always, always. As long as we're not dead, we're winning, right? right. It's one of those, like, vacations, flings, yeah. Anst is the only one that's upset by it, too. Shizzle Bob could care less. Couldn't care less. You gotta be careful. Even joking, people will jump on top of you about that. You get stuck in a car with for hours, that's true, yeah. Uh, all right, it worked. Counseled. They'll always have the camels. Just remember the humps. Forget the bad times. <laughs> my, I just heard my wife laugh in the distance. The hump's on the camel. What else could that possibly mean? Perverts. <laughs> this is you, not me. Thought no psi powers? That's not a psi power. Counseling someone is a psi power? He was literally talking to him about it. I'm gonna use that next time someone's like, I know you've been under a lot of stress. Have you tried therapy? And I'll be like, what? That witchcraft? <laughs> I don't believe in psionics. To his power of leadership. <laughs> you thought so? No. It's funny though. Witchcraft. Um, so we need to get some more animals to go trade those. I might. Uh, keep one of the boomalopes around, though. 
Does everyone got flak now? Let's take a look. Everyone has a flak vest. Look at that. Look at that. Now we need to uh, get the SMGs going. Uh, I'm just going to make a couple of SMGs. Oh, Tim to make chain shotguns instead. Set that up. What is this? Oh, I see. <laughs> Wife show me a picture. Our cat. Yeah, I'll just make a couple of SMGs. Need to make more dusters too. We do when uh, the devil screen comes in. We are set up to do it, but. All right, three SMGs. Oh, the camel's here. Look like... I don't know who that is. Hang on, I have to write that name down. Hey Zeus, because... I don't know if you're you're complimenting me or insulting me. I'll find out. Write down who said this too. Alright. What's the easiest run I've done over the years? I don't know. I mean, we used to do just kind of standard runs, you know? I guess those ones. No, but speaking of, uh, I have a story about this. The reason I say this is a couple of years ago, someone came into the channel, I don't know, two or three years ago. Probably, maybe more. And uh, they were like, hey, you look exactly like so-and-so. And I was like, I don't know who that is. And they were like, I swear, you, you guys could be brothers. Like, seriously. And then I was like, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. And then R squared was in the chat and he goes, he types, Adam, that, that's, I don't think that's a compliment. And I was like, the martial artist or the drag queen? <laughs> oh God, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway. And uh, so I was like, all right, screw it. I'm going to look it up in this during the stream. And I minimized the game. And I brought up my type. I wish I could remember the name. I typed this guy's name in. And he looked like some kind of like hillbilly, like snaggle toothed, inbred looking guy that does wrestling or something. And I was like, what? You think I. And he's like, you guys are probably cousins or something. And I was like, are you trying to insult me? He's like, no, 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 no. I don't mean it as an insult. I really think you guys look similar. And I was like, probably just like a next level troll never saw them again so <laughs> they were probably just trolling but if they were they got me they got me <laughs> tin tin like rin tin tin <laughs> when <laughs> you don't have to say you don't have to say inbred hillbillies that's an oxymoron. <laughs> but on a royal run, yeah, yeah. In fact, the first full run I did after um, royalty was a royal run. And uh, if you haven't before, I have a 20 year run up on YouTube where I do the royal ending and the ship launch at the same time and they do stack. Oh God, look a lot like granny. Yeah, we're related, weird, huh? Pilot wash. You have a tin tin haircut. Look like this awesome guy on YouTube. Heard good things about him, yeah. Blitzkrieg. <laughs> Speaking of Blitzkriegs, that's a weird segue, isn't it? Has anyone ever said that? Speaking of a br Blitzkrieg? Uh, no, but speaking of, uh, it's really surprising to me that now my second highest regional viewership on YouTube is Germany, and it's not really close. You would think maybe Canada, you know, or UK or something. But no, Germany is my second highest viewership on YouTube by a good margin. Like, US is like 45%, Germany's like 15%, and then the next closest is like 3%. Germans must like their, their Rimworlds. All of them, all Germans like Rimworlds. You thought I might be Canadian, because I'm n nice. You're you're too nice to be American. No, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. 
All right. Uh, we gotta get some more of these animals, and we gotta get them out of here. Oh, hey, rhinos. We haven't seen rhinos yet. It's been a while uh, since I had rhinos on a map. Check. I don't know if I will. Germans love. Yeah. Not the rhinos. There. Min max problem solving. Anno 1800 is also popular. Yeah, I've had people say that, that um, there's a lot of uh, games like this, Factorio and stuff, that actually does have a lot, a, a very large uh, portion of the viewership is, is from uh, Germany. Yeah, yeah I, I knew what you meant. I should have corrected it when I was reading it, but I knew what you meant. German, yeah. Gingerbread tastes delicious, but it's incredibly thick. Did your chat go through? No, because it shows me this is your first chat of the day, so I guess not. All right, anything to tame on the way home? I don't think so. Germans love those games. Yeah, two or twenty-two percent uh, chance there, and we got it. So that's really nice. Okay. Um, I think tomorrow we'll try to grab the donkeys, and then we'll go with whatever we have. You two are delicious, but incredibly thick. God. <laughs> this game is German. Maybe they do love your world there. All right. Getting some SMGs at the long last. Secretly German. Secretly. Are you a spy? <laughs> Come on, man. Get these excellent beds. Zidian. I, I was really hopeful because Zidian, the very first one we had to make, excellent. We have German ancestors. Hey, a new good bed. New excellent bed, I mean. Okay. We just destroyed Dragon Mom's bed in front of her. We literally grandfather a masterwork bed. It might be too fancy. What's the difference in 140 market value? 84. Grab the donkeys a euphemism. Only if we punch him. What? What? You don't know the phrase donkey punch? Me either. Uh, it's uh, we used, <laughs> we used to say that in school about punching people in the in the butthole, like a donkey. But <laughs> I have to stand there like, what? Yeah, you know. You can't, you can't do those things in school anymore. I wish they weren't allowed when I was in school. You guys, you guys have that in your school where someone like punch someone else in the butt and say donkey punch? Or they would come up and they would like, oh my God, this is gonna sound terrible. It like, someone would come up to someone else, let's say, not me, definitely not, not doing it or receiving. But they'd come up to someone else like in the hallway and they'd get their thumb and they would jab you in the butthole with it and they would say they, they would call it goosing. No, that didn't happen. Stan knows. See, it's a real thing. <laughs> You've never seen people goosing? They just stab you in the butthole with, you know, your pants and stuff are still on, right? You're in the hallway. It's not like real butthole, but that's the location. They jab you with a thumb and say, goose. Definitely not. I did not participate in any of this. Goosey was in your school as well. Yeah, see? Donkey punch was a surprise punch to the head in your circles. Ours is a punch in the butt. Yeah, and sometimes you'd miss and hit the gooch. Yeah, you know. 
In fact, there was a guy that, you remember the vocational school I was talking about earlier? There was a guy that stopped being at the vocational school. He came to our school for the graduating year and he did that all the time to everyone and he got the nickname Gooch because of it. And they literally called him that in graduation on the friggin' announcement. Not like the kids, the teachers called him that. This was just a thing that happened back then. I don't know. I've never really thought about it <laughs> in a long time. When you goose a ghost, a handful of sheet. I haven't thought about this stuff in years. I don't think I've ever told you about this stuff. Gooch go on to found the fashion line Gucci. He did, yeah. He did. <laughs> simpler times when when assaults was uh was just a funny thing that people did to each other in school the chat goes by gooch i think it's the same guy what if it is that'd be really weird wouldn't it <laughs> sat down they called him gooch what, what have you missed how much Oil funny bone, it becomes a laughing stock. Ha ha ha. Heard that one. God, what have I what have I done? What has happened? Oh yeah. Ansta. We we're we're trying to get the donkeys today. Maybe I'll give up on the donkeys. What have we done? Which reminds you of scrubs. <laughs> Things not to Yeah. Oh man. Maybe this is a good day to finally tell the urinal chicken story for the first time in a long time. Oh no. No, what? Insta, no. Hurry. Oh wait. That's psychic psychic power, we're not supposed to use it. It didn't work anyway, it doesn't matter. The rhino bit his leg off? Well, Ansta, can we tell a urinal chicken story? <laughs> I have to accept these refugees too, so hang on, let me, let, me, let me figure this crap out. And then maybe I'll, I'll tell it for the first time in a long time. I don't know who's the best doctor. Let's go down here in case we get attacked during Ansta. I don't know how you're not dead, but you had your leg ripped off, so there's that. Uh, all right. Who's the best one? Best doctor that we have with us. Okay. Tinned. See, we should have went after the donkeys. I don't know why I sent him alone. He's a pet specialist, so I was like, oh, he'll be fine. 22% chance to tame instead of... So I have 11, that's like 100%. I sent everyone in case there was a raid out here during that. All right, so I'm required to accept this. We have four refugees. So hopefully they don't um, betray us, but you know. Also, earlier we had the rule that if a refugee wanted to stay with us, we had to allow them to, which, uh... I don't know about that. Oh, it was just some random... Yeah, poor Iqua thing. It's alright. Too soon. It's always too soon with Steve Irwin. Colony has been very sensitive. It cost you an arm and a leg. Yes. Be a shame if they betrayed us. All right, so let me set these guys up. Um, first off, we're just gonna put them on hauling. Um, got two that we can send out mining. 
So we can help a plant. Too bad I don't have more research benches. Pyromaniac joins. God, I'm not. I could have these guys go work on taming things on the map, too. I might tell the urinal chicken story again. It's been like a year since I told the urinal chicken story. Hey, man, is that a message here? Uh, if chat's busy, people are supposed to use it to get my attention to read the message, but it gets overused sometimes, and so my brain is starting to not catch all those either. Highlights the message, yeah. Do you have any other uh, components around that we can grab? Two time mirror, no chicken champ right here. That's right. That's right. All right. It's 2022. <laughs> Should I eat more? Yeah, definitely. No, I'll do my best. Um, all right, all right. I haven't told the story in a long time. So speaking of things that happened in my my school when I was a kid, in this super rural Southeast Tennessee area. Why didn't you read that message? I don't know. I want to tell you everything is one of the only ways we have to make money in this run because we can't slaughter, or butcher, etc. All right, so I was actually like a, a really good kid in school and whatever, never got in trouble, all that stuff, had good grades, all this kind of stuff. Well, in first grade, uh, I don't know why, but uh, where it came from. But anyway, a lot of our uh, grievances with one another was settled in the bathroom. That sounds weird, right? But the boys' bathroom in my school where I grew up, elementary school, very old school also, very old school. The urinals were a trough, like a long trough, not individual urinals, a long trough. And so as little boys, we would have this thing that we called urinal chicken, right? And so instead of like fighting or whatever, someone would stand on one side of the urinal, someone would stand on the other, and you'd pee towards each other. And whoever, you know, chickened out, well, that person lost, right? Urinal chicken. So in first grade, I had this, uh, this kid Challenge me to urinal chicken. We took it to the urinals and um, Apparently I had been holding in my chocolate milk longer than him. I had more to drink at lunch or something But uh, I came out guns a-blazing and I soaked this kid. I soaked him. He didn't move He didn't chicken out. So I'm not sure who technically won, but I soaked him. He was covered in urine It was literally dripping from his ear and he immediately looked just just stunned just frightened, right? And you know what I did as a, as a, someone in first grade, I immediately tell him, now this is during like all the way back to recess, the teachers waiting outside the restrooms. And I immediately say, no, 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 don't tell the teacher. He's soaked in pee. It's, he's wet. It's dripping from him. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And, um, he starts crying and runs out and tells the teacher and they take me to the office. They call my mom and. Uh, my mom's like, what? And my mom comes down, she comes in the office, and they tell her, and they don't tell her urinal chicken, they don't talk about what the real, like, he was, it wasn't my idea. He challenged me, I won. It's not, I, why should I be punished, right? He was in on this as much as I, I could, I, I the stakes were high, I could have been peed on, for God's sake. <laughs> and my mom comes in, and they tell her that I just peed on a kid. She's like, um... Adam, uh, your son, uh, he, he peed all over, he peed all over Travis. His name was Travis. I've told this before too. He peed on him and they, they talked about it and whatnot. And they were like, well, since he's a good kid and he hasn't done anything else before and everything's all right, you know, we're not going to suspend him. But if this happens again or something like that, 
you know, he he's going to be in trouble. And so uh, I tried to explain to my mom what it was. All right. It's done. It's done. But the legend of the of urinal chicken and peeing on Travis um, continued. So everything's fine. Second grade. The legend has grown. A kid, a kid in class named Eddie. Eddie challenges me. Eddie challenges me to urinal chicken. It's been a year. It's been a year. I'm not thinking of the consequences. You know, that year is separate in time. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist chronologically. It's just its own entity. Eddie and I take it to the bathroom. I win again. I soak Eddie. I pee on him and he runs out of the bathroom and tells the teacher and I get in trouble. But I won both times. So two time urinal chicken champion. That's the story. That's why Wayne June has that line about that he recorded about me doing this. And so anyway, urinal chicken. Last time I told this story, people were like, what? And you peed, I, you peed on a kid and I was like, but they, I was a kid too. We were both the same age. When you say like, I peed on a kid, it doesn't sound right. It's not like, no, the stakes were just, just as high. I retired undefeated the two time. <laughs> Move over Dr. Disrespect, I pee on kids. <laughs> Don't quote that. Don't quote clip it. that. Quote it. <laughs> you want it on his shirt? <laughs> Don't send that to him. <laughs> anyway. The thing is, these kids challenged me and I won. And they got all butt hurt about it. Because I won. But also, the last time I told this story, someone else in chat was like, I was like, no one else had trough urinals and had urinal chicken. And someone in chat goes, I grew up in Eastern Kentucky. And we did the same thing. And I was like, see, Appalachia. Donkey punches, goosin', gooches, and urinal chicken. Welcome to Tennessee. There you go. I tell that story about once a year. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> we don't get special merch. Underground boxing in the gym locker room instead. Got suspended for six days for sending a kid to the hospital in high school. Walk with crutches. He pushed you down thinking he was funny. So you hit him in the crotch with the crutch right in the hospital. You're laughing maniacally while running a chainsaw in an old lady's front yard. <laughs> 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 Sounds dangerous. <clears throat> All right. Come from the rim world. Stay for the urinal chicken. Do not challenge you in third grade. The school was actually bulldozed down. They built a new one. <laughs> because, of because of me. <laughs> the lingering stain of urinal chicken was... It could not be washed. I'm only here for the urinal chicken. All right, an addendum to the story. I'm not going to say there, this was the reason, but for whatever reason, you know what? I went to this, went to school with the same kids pretty much from kindergarten through high school, through graduation. For some reason, Travis moved schools. <laughs> Travis moved schools and I thought he had moved out of the, out of the town, right? I didn't think it was related. He moved schools and I can tell you, I didn't live there, so I'll tell you. Uh, he moved to, uh, no, I won't tell you. Never mind. I know, I know some people. Anyway. He moved schools, but a few years later, I was uh, I was trick or treating, and uh, my mom uh, there wasn't really neighborhoods, so it was really spread out. So my mom was driving me, and she dropped me off at this trailer, and I went and knocked on the door to trick or treat, and Travis and his mom answered the door. No friggin' joke. Travis and his mom answered the door, and I was like, you know, I wasn't wearing a mask. I was like Batman or something, but no mask. I don't know what I was doing. I was poor. I had a cape that my grandmother made me. Oh, trick or treat. <laughs> you better have full size candy bars or it's urinal chicken again, Travis.
That's why I no longer live there. I've, I'll be killed. No, that's not why. <sighs> Interesting childhood. I think about things like that with my daughter, not about urinal chicken. Let me clarify. My daughter's gonna have like no weird stories or like things like we are building crazy childhood army. things like that. Did he pee his pants? <laughs> Trisha, I think you're the five gift subs. Thank you, Trisha. PTSD. <laughs> uh, Kakarot, Midna, Joe Pro, Annex, and Marabou. 17 months. Thank you, Trisha. I appreciate it. He wouldn't recognize me if I was wearing pants. <laughs> he doesn't remember my face, but he remembers my groin. What's happening in this game? I haven't looked at the screen in a while. Hey, we got SMGs now. <laughs> Good times. Good times. Oh, we're missing so many body parts. We gotta get to trading again. All right, let's go. Ansa, are you back up? I'm gonna go ahead and send um, Shizbab away to trade. Uh, are they restocked? 4.9 days. All right. You want to hear Grady say that? Oh god, I gotta stop saying things. Lunar is here to quote all, like, maybe not kill, but at least peed on. <laughs> I'm standing in line at the grocery store in Tennessee. All of a sudden, my the back of my pants start getting wet, and I'm like, what? <laughs> it's Travis and Eddie holding hands. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they didn't add the search menu to this. A lung! I need a lung! Alright, let's go. Those are real names, too. I've wondered if I should say they're real names. This is also their last name, and this is where they live. Here's a picture of them as a child. Here's a... Here's an FBI artist sketch of what they may look like today. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's get out of here. It's true of every Travis and Eddie. <laughs> They killed someone? No, they that person had a um uh had an organ donation card when they died. It was a it was a donation lung. They didn't kill anyone for that one, I can tell somehow. <laughs> Travis is a pretty common name. I haven't I've only met two Travises and I peed on half of them. West Mississippi until you find the right one. <laughs> good ratio the only other Travis I met is actually um, the husband of my wife's childhood friend I met him once the urge was immense no <laughs> hey you want to make this 100% he didn't know what was going on eco-friendly locally sourced ethically harvest lungs that's right My wife laughing in the background. She's literally laying on the floor laughing. Rolling on the floor laughing. 50-50 chance her name's Travis and I'll pee on you. That, see, that's the thing about the story, though. It sounds bad like that. Like, no, Adam, it is bad. But we were the same age. We were all kids. Does that make it better? Yes, it makes it better. <laughs> Do you hear the Wayne quote? It takes five people to use it. Exclamation UCC. If five people do that, Wayne will tell. Two time you no chicken chap right here. It at least makes it less criminal. Only well, sounds bad when you're talking about it. Remember, kids, it takes two to urinal chicken. 
Your name is Ashley Travis? <laughs> Did you get peed on in first grade? <laughs> All right, let's finally make these prosthetics. So we need a prosthetic arm. <laughs> I should highlight this off, but hey, everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? I should highlight this off the VOD and put it on YouTube. I ruined your baby name. <laughs> Hide, hide my, hide your baby. No, I, I would not. Japan's mining and not coming from your game. You're getting confused. Why is someone mining? Okay, so we are missing an arm, a couple lungs, two arms, leg. All right. Wait, wait, wait. That's not us, right? No, it is us. Two arms and a leg. Okay. All right, some people have been telling me to tell that story again for a long time because they haven't they haven't really heard the whole thing. They've just heard it, uh, you know, in, in, in hushed whispers. I think, Aspen, you were one of the ones that really want to hear the story. Did it, uh, did it live up to your expectations? Thank you, Pilot Wash. You're Travis as well. He can say he's brave. Yeah, he didn't chicken out, that's for sure. But he did cry with urine leaking out of his ears and run out. Excellent story. Hey, Boone. Boone tried to convert not so. I don't think so, Boone. Chicken out. Yeah, so the thing was, we had lunch and then recess. And then on the way back from recess, we went in line to the bathrooms and then to the classroom and our teacher was outside. So, you know, I just downed a whole carton of chocolate milk. Ran around at recess, got some water from the drinking fountain. I was ready to go. Travis uh, should have prepared. Converting bad. I don't want him to convert us. Yeah. Pickle salad. Merrick. I think that's good for now. Are you, have you arrived? Not quite. It's actually going slower than normal. Full metal bladder. Yeah, if there's one thing I've learned, don't bring an empty bladder to a urinal chicken match. I mean, come on, Travis. It's like showing up to the baseball game without a glove. You just don't do it. I want to start on the varsity basketball team then change out your sandals there's you have to come prepared for the game you're playing <laughs> a wet chicken <laughs> that's what you're imagining tonight we dine in hell what'd you say over there i can't hear you oh is it called chicken because the first one to chicken out and move lost but neither of us chickened out it's just that tonight we dine in hell Hang on, I'm hearing things. Uh, milk eight cookies. Thank you for the <laughs> two six sixty six donations. Dono for the two time champion of urinal chicken, waiting for Adam's inevitable victory in the urinal chicken battle royale. Did I get peed on as well? No, his stream didn't reach me. I I hosed him before he even really got started. Honestly, most of the time, the urinal was really long. It was a trough, so a lot of times, no one's pee ever got near someone else, but, you know. I was pretty good at science. I was like, 40 degree angle is the maximum <laughs> for maximum distance. Dissing other people's streams. <laughs> same time oh did you not mean to do two uh cookies thank you i thought you did two as a joke because of the the two wins 
Thank you, cookies. I appreciate it. Go to TwitchCon or somewhere, maybe. Drink gallons of water and be ready <laughs> any moment. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to turn this into the hospital bed. Who's our best doctor? I think it's Shizma Bob. I think we're going to wait till he gets back. Yeah, it's Shizma Bob. Geometry of the story. How did he get hosed? <laughs> Why? All right. Have you ever seen a trough urinal? I think they still have them at like baseball stadiums and stuff, especially the older ones. Have you ever seen a trough urinal? It's it's literally like like a feeding trough for like a pig or something, right? Man, I'm really getting down there in southern talk now. And so I don't know, maybe four feet apart or something. And one kid, but there's no wall on either side. So like one kid would stand on one side and one would stand on the other long wise. And we would literally like you know, whip out the junk and try to pee <laughs> towards each other. So maybe I don't know. I was it's hard to like think about how large those troughs were back then, right? Because I was I was small. I don't but I, I would imagine like four feet or something. Usually a room for like four people to use the bathroom, yeah. Cool story, I know. Hey, a dog. Hmm. Troughs are common at bars too, yeah. Yeah. That's another one. All right, so wait, I thought they oh a lung is something they can have in stock. They haven't reset yet. Crap. That sucks. That's unfortunate. We could give them a gift to ally. Um, let's go ahead and grab the smoke launcher. That'll be helpful with um, any like um, mech clusters that fall. It's a good thing to have lying around. Um, what do you need a second mortar again for mech clusters? Actually, I think instead I'm going to um, grab the advanced components. Smoke launcher we can make. Advanced components we can't make yet. All right, we'll do that. We need a couple of them, so we'll at least grab those. One for a mineral scanner. Um, okay. And then fabrication bench. We'll grab three. All right, that's fun. Chat, get ready to make you defend your title. I know, what's up with that? Charles, a small Q ice of them. Wait for telling your wife that story. First date or second date? <laughs> you say it like I'm like I'm proud of it. That's one of the main things I tell people. I don't know how long it was till I told her that. Some night clubs in France. Six bathrooms with troughs. Really? That's surprising. Try to collide streams. No, don't cross the streams, you know. Don't cross the streams. Forbidden lemon cake. Joust? No, there was no jousting. Too far apart for jousting. I've been a streamer since first grade. Oh, man. It's true. It's true. Um, I need to finish this building sometime, finally. Hell back a lot. No, I started before uh, the internet was really a thing. Really popular. Just log into you missed the urinal chicken story. I tell it about once a year. So about once a year. Prep by drinking gallons of water and wash down with coffee. Oh. 
Well, I was built in like a medieval merchant house. Bathroom was the size of like a large fireplace. All right, we got more wood in. I'm going to go ahead and just do these out here and I'll move them in as we need. Thought it had something to do with an actual chicken in the urinal. Not sure whether this is more or less disgusting. <laughs> hey. Job, Zidian. Every January. On the 14th, no. <laughs> but it just happens that I do it about once a year, yeah. Journal is cleaner than the average chicken. You're probably right. Change as the kids got older, there's probably some more advanced method for the high school kids. I don't know. I retired after second grade. Never heard of it again. It's time for people to talk about, you know, what we had done. So when she's Bob gets back, we'll do uh, surgery. Hopefully that goes well. What? She's not in here anymore. Not in here anymore. No. Tell the story back. Yep. First time I was doing XCOM 2. Yep. I remember that too. <laughs> what? Went out on top. Tired of champion. Uh, I need to check and see if there's any more. Um components around here. I don't think so. Hey! What's she doing? She's trying to eat my my house plant. One second. Sophia her no. Ha <laughs> Ludo. <laughs> it was uh, it was nice of Randy to let me finish that story after all the crazy crap that's been going on today. Oh no, we have to save them. How far are they? Oh god. Are any of you guys doctors? Uh Oh, we do have one. And you're already out here. Come on. Perfect. So that would you come out of retirement face? <laughs> I don't know. Not sure. It's my house plan. Luckily, she did not. Oh no, they're gonna probably join us. They don't have a faction. They're 62 years old, bad back, double asthma, greedy, beautiful. I wish I had missed this one. But we're the good guys. Oh, very nice. Perfect's not the word I would use, but... God Pawn, of course. I can't sacrifice people. If they join, they join. I can't sacrifice people in this run. I hope they don't join, though. Send him solo to trade with neighbors. Uh, as long as I'm not doing it to try to get him killed. We 
YouTube videos. Oh, thank you for watching over there. Thank you, Crescent. Rest and release, can't do it. Not allowed in this run. There is a mod for peeing in Rimworld, but unfortunately it doesn't offer peeing on others. Oh my God, he already joined. Insta join. I hate this run so much. I just want to sacrifice people and burn people alive and trade in human leather. Is that so wrong? Ice T, welcome in. <laughs> Way. Greedy too. It's greedy. All right, well, there's your gun. Barely friggin' move. Look at him. Look at him. Hey, another crafter though. Right now, you're just gonna, um, you're just gonna research, right? Until I decide the best course of action is. I mean, I, I can't, he has to stay either way, but. Hey, what is going on with you? Just for my wife. Looking for my wife. Well, Ice Tea, I start working on converting you. Maybe he's he is actually okay at melee. Just about, I need to get back. All right, I'll figure out what you want. Come on. You're an old chicken, too. I'll be right back. Don't let me die. Oh crap. Sorry. Um, YouTube is about three months behind. So that one ended. We've done like six uh, runs since then. YouTube is about three months behind. The next episode of the fluid one on YouTube, is, I think the schedule will go up tomorrow. So you don't have to worry about spoilers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, been done with that run for like three months. Just finished episode three, so yeah, you'll have a new like seven hour one tomorrow to watch. I was trying not to make these ourselves in this one because I don't want the wealth, but. Hmm. Might do it anyway. Yeah, YouTube's about three months back. We've played like five or six more playthroughs since then and done like a hundred hours of Darkest Dungeon 2 since then, since that run. Yep. Greedy for impressive bedroom. We could start the uh, second colony. The problem with it doing it with this run is that if we do that, we have to accept everyone at that colony too, so we can't really keep it super small. Yeah, I have I have so much content that I haven't uploaded to YouTube in general. So to give you an idea, I have a full stream of about seven hours just recorded with no editing or anything. If I just uploaded that, that's about 20 gigs. 
I have eight terabytes of streams saved on my stream PC. What? Why are you guys starving? So, a little behind. Just a little. Just a little. All right. Left you with reruns. <laughs> Normally work in so you don't get see the stream too much. Yeah, they'll 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 be on there, yeah. It'll just take some time, unfortunately. Alright, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep her on the wood for very much longer. Do you have to hold on to the video on your end? It depends. Some of them I'll like the the Rimworld runs, I end up deleting, I don't save them forever, I don't archive them forever, and I just kinda use YouTube as the archive, but how long does it take to upload a six hour video to YouTube? Two days, it doesn't take very long at all. But I have a gig up, gig down internet. So uploading uh, like a six or seven hour video, the upload process, not very long at all. A few minutes, but then it has to process. So that takes longer. And that's on YouTube's end. After it's uploaded, I'm done. I don't have, to, as far as, file goes I can close it so yeah it doesn't take too much we got really lucky with uh, the internet that I that I got all right should Bob why does it take you to process it's so random some of the videos will literally be processed within like 10 or 20 minutes other ones take hours and hours I say gig up and gig down for internet yep yeah so it just depends most of them are usually done within a couple hours as far as like processing, but I don't know why some of them take so much longer. Have a gig up and down too. Don't even offer it anymore in your area. All right, so we haven't been, I think Rainy's gotten pretty sleepy after he almost killed us. Yeah, timestamps is a big part of it. Uh, so we didn't end up getting another barrel, but Shizzle Bob is almost back. Ice T, what's going on with you? Greedy from present bedroom. That's not going to change. So. Ten megs down. I took the last gig up, gig down, gig up, down, but it's super extensive. Toxic fallout for pay. No. All right, Shizma Bob, are you ready to perform surgery? I hope so. Merit needs a right arm. In the YouTube processing, they add some little messages that make you crave Chick-fil-A. Is that true? It must be, because I'm craving it right now. Twitch must be doing it too. No, not on Sunday. Backwards. Come on, Shizbob, get that arm on there. Got it. All right. Insta. Uh, what is it? Right arm and right leg. that hopefully those guys don't pick it up I should probably grab it on someone just in case 
I miss Kirsty Clay on Sundays. I haven't played in a long time. Years. I'm pretty hungry though. Oh, Charn, no. Crap, Charn, what is your uh, medical? Nine. Never worried. Easy, successful surgery. Elliot! Hey! What the crap? I'm trying to do surgery here, Elliot. Never worried. For the past four of fluid, did the run die? No, we finished that run like three months ago. Episode four will be out tomorrow. This is like six runs after that one. YouTube's really far behind, so. Still coming, so I'm gonna do a DoorDash chicken sandwich. Oh, for me? Wow, none of you thinks. No. Person risking their life to bring you a meal that makes it all the more delicious. <laughs> wow. Alright, Merrick is up. Let's grab that. Refugee then punches your doctor. Yeah. Doctor and cable of violence. Punch him in the back. Thanks. Sandwich on the way to Chicago. <laughs> God. Thanks. Excellent. Fantastic. Come on, guys. Tame some more stuff. Um, Boone should be on it. Boone and Alexis. All right. What do you guys have in your uh, ideology? No specialists. I think we might do a ritual again. 80%. Hmm. There's a cougar now? 30% chance. Hmm. Did say we were going to try to get cougars this run. Hmm. Wait, <laughs> I can't tame cougars. I'm not allowed to produce meat. I'm going to have to buy them. Come on, cougar. Don't you want to be a vegan? Sad. How am I going to keep it fed? Cougars might be off the menu. In all ways. Is that a good trader? Could buy meat? Yeah, but that's good. that would be rough to keep it fed. Cougars could hunt for themselves at least. Yeah, we'll have to think about it. Why don't you guys have lungs? Oh, we do need an eye. Do you need an eye? I don't know, you can't sell deaf a cat. Don't even think about it. Just don't remember, don't, just forget about Hercules, it never existed. By definition, cougars are always on the prowl. Popped in. Hey, Kyo. Uh, Kyo Scar. It's, it has been a long time. Welcome back. Hopefully you've been well. Yourself Cougar. Wouldn't trade her for the worlds. Cheap meat. 
she's a vegan cougar, we might want to hurt this colony. It's your wife. I, I know, I understood. I understand the joke. You uh, do this. Health nut cougars the worst. Yeah, we can use milk. Yeah, but we don't have animals that produce milk right now. I could get like a yak. Do that. Wait. We do have camels. Kind of forgot we were holding on to that camel. Uh, and tears. Thank you for hanging out while you could. Off to the night shift. Have a good shift. Thank you again. Still trying to get all those excellent beds. There's another one. A mad rat. Is there anyone out? No, that's fine. You get some sleep too. Starting to feel funny. Sorry, I'm feeling well, Nox, but thank you for hanging out for as long as you could. Have a good night. Oh, Sace, crap. You weren't supposed to make that. That was supposed to be Zidians. Wait on the next batch, I suppose. Female iguana for eggs. I don't even know if Defecat is capable of reproducing. <laughs> I say that because look, look at our poor lizard. But if he's alive and we manage to make a ship, sending him to space, we even make a second, a second casket so we can send a, a tamer to space with him. Sounds like a good plan. I don't know if we're gonna make it to space, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. You know what? I kinda want some jade. Yeah, he's even missing his stomach. Only need to be conscious, but animals need to be <laughs> able to move. <laughs> Low medicine. Gonna trade for some more sometime. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. There's only ten percent. It's fine. What? Who is that? The geeky lover. Uh, geeky lover. Thank you for the Switch Prime. Thank you for using it here. Probably heard me say it a time or two, but it does count as a tier one sub. Uh, helps with the stream. Thank you. Let's go invest. That's a good one. be dumb and nutrient paste. It's kind of nice as a backup to have, but I don't think we need it necessarily. Ray's been pretty chill today. I mean, aside from the beginning of the stream when we almost died, but we don't, we don't talk about that. All right, let's do a festival. Interrupt this amazing song for a festival. We'll zoom out so it continues to play. 
You guys better not try to betray us during this festival. We're a very good guy of them. Boring. Again. <sighs> Last time it was terrible and like memorable. So. Come on. Two borings in a row. That's unfortunate. Well, hmm. we're going to do another one. <laughs> this is a different kind, but we're going to let them rest a little bit, get their food and all that. Pretty unlucky, yep. Pretty unlucky. Do that sometime too. You know what? We haven't had a centipede this run. Don't say that. <laughs> Alright, let's do this one. Uh, I should wait till the storm's done just in case there's a fire. So we keep an eye on it. more fires, Randy? No? Okay. Alright, let's do this one. So now it's a 100% chance. Well, it's not even a 100% chance. I don't know why. Expecting quality is 100%, but it never, uh... You never have a 100% chance to not get boring and stuff. What? Even the guests get to use some of the wood. Well... why it always reminds me well i know why of the the moonlit jellies from stardew skyline yeah yeah it's really good they disappear into the mountains bye sky lanterns see you again next season not you but new ones hey friendly visitors Gain 20 goodwill. Nice. Nice. That puts us at almost allied. We're at plus 61. Be careful. Stardew went post apocalyptic. Okay, so I think we're just going to, I might get a few more research benches down, just like stay at current wealth and just bang out research and then I can get rid of those. Keep trading animals. I think we're good to just go ahead and uh, head out with a new, new group of animals. Uh, have they restocked over there? Uh, yes, they restocked. So they might have lungs, okay. Shizzle Bob, you know the drill by now. Man, he's made this journey so many times. This will be like his 10th trip over there or something. Um, we're gonna keep one of those around. Yeah, we'll keep Boomalo one. Okay, Kim Fuel, we can take, uh, you know what? We'll take all of it. I bought the Bionic Eye, we need to install that. Shiz, I might have you, uh, yeah, I might have you do that before we leave. Okay.
All right. Oh, you have plenty of food. Okay, who needed the eye? Is this actually adding the same to wealth? Installed is not. Char needs the eye. Right eye. All by Akar. Eye, right eye. Just got a ship in the lungs last week. Charn! I've been through a lot. No, why do they keep... Ice-T wanted to do it himself. No, Ice-T. You know what? You're not a doctor anymore. You can't just make me not a doctor. You're not a doctor anymore. <sighs> he broke the oath. All right. Everyone knows if you watch surgery, it can't fail. No, you can't pull me over there to look at the gift. See? Rip the license you ever had. <laughs> they left us a Christmas tree and an effigy. That's pretty cool. I've never, uh, I've never had them do that before. Nice. Go ahead and make our own Christmas tree next year. Excellent. Should we surround you? You're cracking up. Ice tea. The ice tea mix. Oh yeah. That's right. <laughs> Those are two different people. No, they're not. But it was, uh, it was, uh, before they put the capitalization on their names. Kind of like Taco Making Kin. Your tree sucks. Here's a new one. The Trojan Christmas tree. Um, yeah, it's fine. Going taps. Uh, it's been a crazy day. We we almost lost people multiple times today, but uh, Randy's gone to sleep for the last season or two, so we uh, we've been able to kind of get back into a pretty good spot. But uh, yeah, we we had a lot of trouble early today. Re multiple people close to death. We lost some more body parts. We're still trying to get more body parts right now. Or prosthetics and stuff. Taco making Tacoma kitten. That's yes. That's it all cleared up. It's become kind of a running joke in the channel a little bit because uh, a long time ago I used a program that didn't matter if you had capitalization or not. It would just show names all in lowercase, and so I just read it without even thinking. And there was someone at the stream. This was like almost five years ago. So that stream that was here every day and uh, I saw their name and I saw it was like insatiable or something. It was all lowercase and I was like, that's a weird name. And I called them that for a little while. And before it finally dawned on me, like three months later, it was like, wait a second. Is your name insatiable D? That makes a lot more sense than insatiable. So it became this kind of joke. And <laughs> so I... I started mispronouncing a lot of people's names on purpose after that, even ones I had pronounced right previously. Oh, the Insatiable D. Well, that's that's a different name. It's from other people. Does it seem like a good guy move? What? Woozy, the people that those organs came from, they donated them. They had a license that said when in, in case they died in a crash or anything like that, that their organs shouldn't be just destroyed, that, that they wanted to donate them. And so these are definitely donated organs. Well, that's your name, LV Trisha. Epiphany's Rock. Organ donation is a real thing. <laughs> Tally S N instead of Welsh. Ah, uh, gotcha. So we've had Tacoma Kitten, who I used to call Taco Macon. 
Why even care about your organs after death? <laughs> Cha Oswi Nish. Wow, weird name. We actually haven't bought any organs yet, though. Seriously. We have not yet. We are looking for lungs, but we can't take any. We're going to have to go to one of the other traders. Uh, there's another settlement nearby that's neutral. We could go over to them. Unless you guys have... Oh, they have a low shield. I think I'm going to do that. How much further are they? Uh, 0.2 days because they're on the road. Holy crap. Alright. Yes. Some countries, they will not try. They also save you. Oregon might save three plus people. Scans yet. We're gonna register now in the UK rather than opt in. Yeah, I've seen that um, about a few countries as well. Uh, what do you guys have for trade? No. Yeah, I've never heard of that, but who knows? All right, what do you guys have? A stomach, a nuclear stomach, prosthetic arm. We also don't have what we want. It's unfortunate. Uh, so I think I might just gift to that other one. So we actually have uh, someone that we can call in. So we'll visit them on the way back. Sorry there, Shizbobam. We'll gift them. Hopefully that gets us to allied status. So if we need to call them in for help or for a trade, we can do that. Someone from the UK, you can agree with that? Yeah, I've never I've never heard of it that being practiced, so I guess you never know. An eclipse. A dead Buster Chub nuts. Yeah, so we're we'll stop there. We'll drop them off. Um, I guess we still need some more SMGs. One, two, three. So we'll work on that too. Three SMGs. Two people. One melee. And one is incapable of violence. So there we go. Do -do. Happens in China. That I'm more inclined to the belief as bad as it sounds, but anyway, I mean, I don't know either way, so I'm not going to speak of it. Chub nuts back from the dead. Hmm. I'm not even sure if I'm going to make charge rifles in this one. I have not decided, but. All right, here we go. Is this enough? It is not. <laughs> Man, elephants are worth so much more. So much more. I, I should probably, like I said, I should probably send someone other than Shizma Bob. It's just that they're the most... Not expendable, but they're the one we need <laughs> the least at the moment in the colony, like if a fight happens. So. But they only have a one in social. Whereas if I sent someone like, let's see, there's a five. Uh, Ice-T does have a three, a little bit better. I might actually send Ice-T. Ice team. Ice team nine. Let's 
trades, sell to one. I know. Yeah. Oh no. Oh crap. Whoa, Alexis. Oh crap. Boom. <laughs> Good thing you're there, Boone. Oh my lord. <laughs> ah, it's fine though. Can't believe she's fine. That's crazy. Did your smart speaker do things? What? No. Alexis, how tall is Mount Rushmore? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it. I'm not gonna say a play a song wouldn't know. <laughs> um Yeah, I'm gonna switch them all. Alright, let's go. It's only 60 feet high, really. Wow. Now I know what I can do if I need, if I'm curious about any of these things and you're here. So. Nice. According to Alexa slash Wikipedia. That's it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. 60, really? It's interesting though, like 60 feet is six stories, right? So if you say, if you were to say to me, even though I know that, Mount Rushmore is six stories tall. I'd be like, yeah, six stories. Mount Rushmore is 60 feet high. Search for hot cougars in your area. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna do that. Six thousand feet, Mount Rushmore. Does it sound right? Are they short stories? Ha! <laughs> Converts meters. We're gonna go with about twenty meters. It's above sea level. Yeah, I can see that, but I. Like from the, the ground in that area up. Claw trees in that, and you're like 10, and you're afraid of heights. I have a tree climbing story too. It's not like the uh, God Super Glue. <laughs> it's not like the story with the urinal chicken that I told earlier, but I climbed trees a lot when I was a kid, and I was climbing one, a really big one, uh, by the driveway of my grandmother's, and I was way up. She was telling me to be careful. And it's like, oh, you don't go any higher. Of course I did. And uh, I fell. I fell out of the tree and it landed on my back uh, in the drive, in the driveway. It was a dirt driveway. It's not like concrete or something. So I landed in the dirt. And I remember her running out there. And I very specifically remember her saying, she's like, Adam, if you're not dead, I'm going to kill you. And uh, I wasn't dead. I wasn't actually seriously injured. And I did get in trouble and I got, I got whipped. <laughs> we're climbing higher than she told me to and fall out of the tree. But I remember that line. If you're not dead, I'll kill you. Knock the wind out of me? Yes, it, it hurt quite a bit. She at least waited until I was feeling better to give me the whipping, so. Where's the granny voice? No, that wasn't. Not that granny. That was. This is the good granny, not the evil. That's how I died. Um, that grandma also did have a, this bush out in her yard that was the switch bush, yep. And I can remember that being a pretty terrible punishment too, is go get a switch off the switch bush. No, 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 no. <laughs> I won't do it again. Go get one. Don't let me go get one or I'm going to get the worst one. Your nine broke your back, jeez. Haven't tired. 
or died inch lower would have been paralyzed for life. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't 40 feet up, but pick your own switch. The memories are picking yours as well. Yep. Randy, are you asleep? Randy's asleep. <laughs> Oh, horses. Horses. Let's get those. Regard arm not from falling off a tree, but from jumping over a slide, landing wrong. Ugh. Yeah, I broke my arm really badly as a teenager. Mech raid. What is it? Pre trade. All right, we're gonna see if uh, that's still small. Like, I guess from all the downs and stuff that we had, but I don't know. Because these count as being down too. Visitors like this actually do count for that. No, I don't want. Um, actually, I will have you. All right. Well, we'll see if the breach... Oh, don't go up there. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> so, well... 50,000. I think that's a low Randy roll, then. We gotta get rid of some of this. It's way too much. Yeah, it looks like they're coming up that way. All right. That looks smaller than the breach raid we had earlier. Favorite ritual animation? Um, pro yeah, probably the Lantern Festival altogether, yeah. Did you get to attack my sappers earlier? No, I haven't. Just breachers, as far as that kind of raid is concerned. Another, this is where another breach came through. set up a place for her to throw from the other side. The friendly fire radius. Still worth, but I gotta be careful with that. Alright. Look how much easier it is with a friggin' EMP grenade. We almost lost that before. Before we had EMP, we, uh, we actually had someone die. And uh, three more people, like, just hours from death. Oh, you know. Okay. Much easier, yeah, than last time. Hmm. 
So I need to make a place here to throw the EMP down. So that should be pretty easy. Pretty easy to do. New hole on the left. Oh yeah, that was that was there since yesterday, yeah. Put ID in the hallway. Uh, let's see. Is that a red mountain there? Yep. Okay, I uh, had very little work to do, and so you produced a thing that can draw from queue randomly, fill their respective redemption, and wait entries based on how long they've been in queued, queue per day. We use until a queue reset, cause a Twitch technical limits. Same with script, not chatbot integration at all presently. Oh, that is, that's, that's awesome, Ludo. Uh, yeah, let me know, wherever is easiest to talk for you. Discord works for me, or Twitch whispers, just let me know. That is awesome, yeah, thank you. Thought it was gonna be three deaths yesterday for the food binge. Yeah, we had and we had some close calls today too. But um we're we're quite a bit more prepared now, finally. Yeah, that, that'll make things a lot better, though. We can get that set up. I, uh, I'll get it set up for February for the reset. That would work. I could make it so you can only have one name in the queue at a time as well. Or you spin points, you have higher chance for it to hit you. That also is fine. But then you run the risk of if it picks you, you lose those extra points if you're already in the current run. That would work as well. What in um, a what a what queue? Oh, I should have done those first. Whoop. Could just make some of these doors, I guess. First in, first out. That's how it is right now. But right now, literally, it's just a queue order of points. But trying to find a way to uh, make it so it's more likely, or not maybe more likely, but like the people that can come in on the first of the month in the morning are usually the same people every time. So a lot of times, the first like 30 names of the queue are the same people every time. Um, that sort of thing. But. Rather spend years for lore stories. <laughs> Watched. Who was that? What? How? Say, I've had you on construction for a long time when it was. Oh, it's because I needed him on it for a little bit. We only have one builder right now. Ending, I'll probably try the ship on this too. This is every run, yeah. This <laughs> one, she was the very first person to put the queue and she did like six redemptions yet. Might make you eat all the redemptions with pick for any of them. I, I kind of like that in a in an odd way. I don't know. Well, I'll I'll uh, I'll look at what you what you've done and stuff though. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Mecha Wayne. I still need to fix that too. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Is this the button for it? For real? There we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I really should uh, do this in a different order. Put more doors there. I have the clip of the spam, yeah. On your way, Zidian, let's go. Why fix it? You love the Mecha Wayne? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You like the echo? 
Can I explain the wall purpose and the person's tunnel? So the tunnel's purpose is a breach raid broke through the friggin' mountain. That's the purpose. So I didn't make it. So a breach broke through. The reason for the walls is so that infestations don't spawn. We've already had two infestations in there. So basically, I'm building so an infestation can't happen in there. That's it. So with this pattern, an infestation can't spawn. If you have a single overhead mountain that is encased with wall like this, it cannot spawn an infestation, so. But yeah, I, I would rather it just not be here, but this is where breachers break in, so just use what we were given. Or reasonable when they used to be in Iris and the back raids. I don't, it, it depends, but after I kind of figured out breachers, I didn't really find them that difficult anymore because breachers have a cap on them. So for instance, a breach raid at, at a breach mech raid at point cap, raid point cap, it's like 10 centipedes, right? At that point, you can gun down 10 centipedes pretty easily, but you outscale it pretty hard. So compared to like drop pod on top of you of like 12 centipedes, it's a lot harder. So I don't necessarily think breach raids are usually super difficult, but they're pretty annoying. So I'm, I'm glad with the rebalance of the... Uh, how often you get them. Remind, Remind yourself, yourself that overconfidence, that overconfidence is slow low and insidious killer. killer. How, how, how to play twice. <laughs> Titan. It's one of your favorite moments. Hey, the refuge didn't betray us. Nice. Hey. How'd you get past the cooldown? You don't have to kill every single opponent. Well, you do against mechs, but... Your guy run is still alive yet? For now. Just barely. We gotta get some more of this wealth out of here. I actually don't have that much stuff to get rid of. Um, a lot of it's in those extra beds. And things like that. Could smelt that. Now that they're gone, we should have enough food again. Uh, while left on the rituals. Okay. It's juggist, so it's not time for our Christmas festival yet. Hmm. An ending, probably ship. Uh, we've had one actual colonist death, yeah. Pod drop out of nowhere with a random thing in it. When you read the notification, it says it's from a refugee. Yep. Yep, I've had that happen. Which is kind of nice. It's usually nothing, um... I, they've actually sent something decent before, too. What was that? It's usually the same as, like, a... Visitor dropping a gift. Alright, so let's do this one. Wait, wait. This one has a chance to random recruit. I'm not doing that one yet. Um, how close are we to? We need two more SMGs. Okay. Is that the RFG that joined yesterday? Um, which one? Are you asking which person died or? Uh, Batman died. Yeah. We're actually over how much power we need. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that. Faction friendlies help raids. It's gonna be super rare. Feels bad, man. Job on Mondays. This is the first stream you've been able to make alive. And we are surviving. Well, we finally outgrew our, our power. So I think I'm going to uh, dead wire these. Usually don't. I'm going to crash on your goat pin in the last game. Not the goats. Oh, this is running. No wonder. Thought I flipped that off. We'll still dead wire this too. There we go. 
You know, it feels Batman thing was it actually motor? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Basically, in this run, I'm trying to stay under like 81,000 wealth. That's kind of my goal. I don't know if we'll be able to do that the whole time since uh, we have to accept pretty much everyone, but it's kind of been what, I'm, what I've been aiming at. Man, we are really low on food. Um, it's kind of funny that they <laughs> sleep in here away from everyone. I need to move them down here. Or finish off the excellent beds. What? Guys. Get out of there. Okay. How's the lizard survive this long? He eats the flowers in the house. He might have eaten some double strand by now. We let him wander around back here. Can't get rid of him at this point. We have like no jade. It's a cat. It's deaf, a cat. Uh, all right. I think I'm going to have uh, Insta tame these. Oh, that's in a really bad place. It hasn't stopped us before though. Tomorrow we'll work on this. And hopefully nothing bad happens and we have to run out and save him. Those hairless cats, yeah. Uh, mostly four legs. Teeth and tail. Must be a cat. You right hit thin roof over your mountain base and it smashed your coolers and freezer room. Holy crap. The amount of those bots that the channel gets now that come in by followers. It's crazy. I, have to, I think that's the fourth or fifth one we banned today. High second drone. All right. Well, it looks like we're staying home. Ansta. Sorry, just kidding about that whole going out and teaming horses thing. Determined to leave. You have six ends and five of them pointy. If you just buy the followers from them, they'd never come back. I think they come even more than. All right, I forgot about that. Ice tea. Is it okay to have idle colonists? So I usually try to prevent it, but in this run, it's a quite a bit different. It is okay to have that because they're gonna work on their mood during that period. What I generally do, especially early game, I did it this game as well, is early game, if I see someone idle, I will throw down another research bench and then I will uh, set them as priority for research. So, but right now, if I had them not being idle, then they would be producing wealth in some kind of fashion. Because nothing needs cleaned up right now. Um, nothing needs, you know, repaired really. Um, so the only things they would, they would do is like if I set them to like craft or make other things and I, I don't I don't want any more wealth I could make some more advanced research benches which I've been thinking about I'm just banging out the research while keeping the wealth low um because I'm using yeah should, we should stop using that to describe the bed it's literally a square I'm gonna have to like set that as a as a Word the bot <laughs> scrubs or something. Anyway, the reason I'm not using the square setup this time is because I opted to go straight after the uh, excellent beds. So excellent beds only take one 
comfort item to cap out comforts. So if you get all excellent beds, you actually don't, you need either a dresser or uh, an end table. Doing both of them doesn't increase it any further. So we were getting excellent beds and we were um, using a single dresser. Again, to save space and wealth in this kind of run. Single dresser is a bunch of... Uh... But how will they smell each other's feet? That's a good question. But that's why. Floors that have something to clean. It's true they would. But it would be less pretty. Oddly. Beds not need comfort furniture then? I, I don't know. I think... I'm not sure. I'd have to test it. If those would cap out without comfort furniture. Yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't tried it. The seventh of Jugus. Man, this drone needs to end. I think I'm gonna be done with pace. I, I keep saying that, but then we we have this happen. They're not using it, but I meant for space. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does more like combat music. Problem. Music's almost too good. All right, Ansa. Daytime, we're going to try this. Uh, oh my god, the horse is in such a bad place. Such a terrible place. Music so good, it's distraction from the game. Distraction from life. Like like ArcGeo was saying, suddenly it's 3 a.m. You're like, oh my god, what's happened? Yeah, it's very fa Firefly, yeah. They asleep. They're asleep. When they, run, when they wake up, we're gonna go. Uh, it's from P Music. So P Music is a mod that adds additional music to the game. Uh, that's P dash music. P is in pterodactyl music. You also do execution mods if you want to see um, see it typed out. Go tame the horses. I don't know, Randy. They're pretty close to the edge of the map. It's in pneumonia. It's in psychasting. 
Uh, I am gonna go team some of them though. Alright. Let's have you eat a meal. And then let's go. All right, let's get down here. Oh, it's so far away. So far away. What do you need help with? You can buy right now, you lose all your rice. Why not use multiple grow zones instead of one? I wouldn't use, lose all my rice, no. We had it happen earlier and it hit like here. And having multiple grow zones of the rice does, doesn't really protect in that sort of way. Like, if I have this grow zone, and a blight hits here, it's going to travel to this one. The Devil Strand does uh, keep it, but I'd have to redo the whole setup with Devil Strand lines in the middle, but... Is there a mod that where raiders use Psycasts? I don't know. Yeah, that would be really crazy. Change the angle of the hand just ever so slightly so the animal calm icon. <laughs> yeah, uh... Someone else mentioned that it looked like they were getting karate chopped. Aspen did. Pawn, there's a button to get rid of the pawn UI. Um, there's a hotkey for it, but there's also down here, I think. Toggle colonist bar in the bottom right. So it's down, it's one of the buttons in the bottom right. Judo chop. Oh, that's so dangerous. Oh, just tame the other one while you're here. Oh, insta, please. Masterwork seal helmet. I don't know about that. There's one powerful Psycast AI. Yeah, that's crazy. Did you get Berserk Pulse? <laughs> oh, you need to start stop churning out masterwork stuff. Might have to take your job away. You're too good at your job. Masterwork horse. Where are the sandworms and the spice? The spice is Lucifirium. Sandworms. We're gonna go with the giant insects for that one. Uh, the rest of them should come up to sleep. Elephant four. How does elephant four still have a bed? Element 4 has been gone for a very long time. Weird. I'll lower a hand, it'll reduce their manipulation. Then you don't have to worry about all those masterwork items. Gone but not forgotten, Elephant 4. Trying to not keep very much in the storage area anyway, so Move this junk over there. I think that should be able to hit all of them. Alright, that'll help. Thanks, NK. Nope. 
It was not. There's the command for it. Friends of Meat, welcome in. So for anyone that didn't see, a brand new RimWorld guide came out yesterday. It goes over all the stuff about wealth. You probably ever want answered if you have a question about if something is wealth or not, why wealth is important, what wealth does to your game, how to get rid of it, how to not make more of it, uh, how to not or to play without worrying about wealth, all those kind of things. It's in the guide. Check it out if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. Uh, next time the animals sleep, we could go ahead and just super cheese it. No, nah, they've already got them assigned. They'll, they'll be here. They'll be here next time they sleep. And then we'll go trade. Hopefully we'll get lungs. We really need lungs. So we need, we need a few more components. Okay. Well, our map's pretty much void of components, unless it's in a really terrible, terrible spot. Uh, we still have this. That's really far away. Um, we have that. We could break down. I'm not sure how much we'd get for it. I really don't want to send Zidian out either. He's our only builder, so Zidian is pretty, pretty important. I guess we'll uh, we'll trade for some horses. We can go ahead and send Shizabob now. They'll get there really fast, the horses, anyway. Um, how long still some more Devil Strands coming in? Not too long. And so do I want to have you grab some more of these horses before you go? Hmm. I think I'll wait. We'll wait until those two come home. All right, silver meteorite. That does not count as wealth yet <laughs> until we mine it. Uh, interesting location. Managed not to screw up our uh, our kill area. That's nice. I thought it was gonna screw up our EMP tunnel. Cool. Uh, we got a we got a little uh, bank there. We need it. Our own Fort Knox. So, <laughs> if traders come, we just mine it out. Your delivery has arrived. Was it lungs? I need lungs, Randy. Don't send me a raid. People full of lungs, please. I can't use those. Also, I could go ahead and get down the... Or get the fabrication bench down. And then we can make our own. Hmm. I usually do that. Like in standard runs. But we still need more components to make that anyway. It goes at four. It knocks you out. Oh my god, it's four. How'd that happen? Uh, they've gotten to the point where they need... Uh... Oh, I should just move this. They're going to start needing more recreation. Well, I guess we'll be wrapping things up on the meteor crash because... I'm supposed to be off here at four today, so I should I should be good and get off there. Sends a long meteorite. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Uh, let me say this for anything else happens. That was an eventful day for the colony. Well, the first half was anyway. 